Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some Oni. And I think it's about time to start a new base. But before I do, uh, we're going to not overcomplicate this uh, for the moment. Uh, we're going to start a new game with sandbox mode. And we're going to do a bit of experimenting and planning before we really start the new one. Uh, so, I want to do the default rock, uh, sandbox, and the rest probably doesn't... Oh, actually, actually I want the tubes to be impervious. Uh, let's see... Okay, so that should be everything we need to muck around a bit. Let's get started. I did put Sandbox on, right? Pretty sure I did. Um... I don't think our dupes are going to particularly matter for this one. Okay. So, sandbox on. Fantastic. Uh, first of all, could we just reveal the entire map? Or at least as far as we want to sort things out. Uh... The number one thing that I want to redesign before we go into a new save is the main bus, or the elevator, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so what I want with that, I think, is probably three tiles on either side. Uh, let's see, delete, here we go, destroy. Uh, this many tiles. Probably more than that, actually. Once more. Radius 5, fantastic. I think if we delete the, uh, the spawner, it's all over, so we actually do have to be a little bit careful. Uh, and we've exposed ourselves to vacuum, cool. No worries. Uh, but basically, the pattern that I think I want uh, for the new base is going to look a little something like this. I was considering actually having a vacuum in the areas between sections. So it would be very easy to keep the base in general clean. Uh, but that might be a bit difficult to transition from early game. Uh, so I want... Uh, let's see. Typically... Uh, we're going to have three tiles and then, then a door. And usually four tiles high. Although we could make a bit of an exception around the printing pod. Uh, we're going to have a ladder. A sigma beam. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ladder on the left, fire pole on the right, and a transit tube. What is that? Visco gel. Visco gel? Wait, what? Didn't we only need plastic to make this last time? Just finished work, thank god it's Friday, indeed. Uh, I, de I definitely don't remember making Visco Gel uh, in my last playthrough. And, I, and yet I made a lot of transit tubes. 
It's a polymer that has high surface tension when in liquid form. The selection is in a solid state. Liquid at negative 30 melts at... Uh, wait, liquid at negative 30? Oh, right, it's, so it is a fluid. Wait, what? Is it a fluid in the form that it's in when they build it? Well, regardless, we're still going to have this as, like, the long-term goal. Um, at places where we want an exit, we're just going to do it like this. The dupes can climb up past here, and we'll barely get slowed down by this one. Uh, obviously, we'll usually have a door, and we have room here for things like a large transformer. Uh, we'll have the heavy wire going down the middle like so. Uh, and and. Places like this, we have room for a large transformer or perhaps a uh, transit tube access. Um, or maybe, I don't know what else, to be honest. But I'm tentatively going to say nine tiles wide is going to be our main bus. Uh, yeah, we could put storage here, we could put transformers, we could put... Maybe an airlock door like this, if we really feel the need. Um, typically, we'll have 96 tiles like this. Whoops. Since that is uh, the size, the maximum size for most rooms. Or a lot of rooms. Kitchen. Nature reserve is actually up to 120. Uh, park is up to 64. Two wild plants, four wild plants. Th 12 or 32 minimum. Okay. Rec, rec room up to 96 tiles. Stable up to 96 tiles. Greenhouse. Well... Greenhouse, we don't necessarily care about the tiles so much as how many plants we can fit. Uh, power plant, I don't think anyone ever bothers with the power plant. Uh, hospital, 96. Massage clinic, 64. Great hall, 120. Uh, bedroom... Minimum height, four tiles. Good to know. Maximum, 64. Uh, okay. Minimum is 12, so that's like 3 by 4. Actually, I'm curious as to how much space we would need for a nice bedroom. The comfy bed is 4 by 2, which means... The absolute bare minimum would be 4x4. Four four. Uh, let's see, bedroom, no cots, no industrial machinery, minimum size, decor item. That's it? Single comfy bed. Okay. Uh, so can we just put... I mean, it said any decor item, right? Uh... Yeah, any decor item. We could start with just molding. And we could later put... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Aero pots. I wonder if that would be, like... Functionally the best bedroom we could make. I don't suppose... I don't think we're going to happen to fit an even number... Oh, hello. Two, three, four, five. 
Can we just delete that? Three, four, five. And let like two frames pass. Bedroom. Morale plus two. Does it affect morale plus two? Yeah, I think this is like functionally perfect actually. Uh, and it conforms perfectly to our template as well. Might do that. But on the other hand, we were considering... Uh, let's see, one, two, three... Hmm... Uh, one thing I was considering, but I don't necessarily want to do because it's kind of weird, is have Atmosuit docks right outside the bedrooms. So the dupes don't go anywhere without their Atmosuits. What's the size for a barracks? Maximum 64. So we'd have to split this one into two to start with. Uh, if we're aiming for like 12 or 16 dupes, we're going to need like more than three or more than four blocks like this. Maybe that's fine. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, regardless, I quite like the way this fits. Um, so I was thinking maybe... What else? Oh yeah, for our industrial room. Um, let me look at some of these stats. Let's see, refinement. I think we had a peek at it already, but like, basically... Well, this would be not very, not very effective early on. Oh, never mind. Overheat temperature plus 15, plus 15. Plus 200. It would have to be made of ceramic. How long does it take us to get ceramic? Uh, we just need a rock crusher. Oh, that turns it into sand. Never mind. We need a kiln, clay, and coal. I'm pretty sure we can throw that together before we make our first steel. Um, so, how much does it take to make one of these? Uh, 800. So we need eight recipes, uh, 200 coal, and a bunch of clay. Uh, how much clay is this really? 200 kilograms. Uh, let's see. Organic? I don't think that's going to find it. Cultivable soil? Cult cultivable? It's not going to show us clay, I don't think. Uh, organic. Already checked that one. Consumable ore. That's coal. Uh, I think it's going to be less than one tile, most likely. It's not a filtration medium. That's just sand and regolith, I believe. Oh, there's so little regolith up here so far. How about that? Uh, mineral, perhaps? I don't think clay is a mineral, is it? Oh, wow, there's so much... Oh, yeah, obsidian. We know, we know what's here. Some kind of... Uh... Creative? Yes, indeed. Um, I'm just figuring a few things out before we do start a new world. Obliterax, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Clay is definitely not a metal. I'm fairly confident about that. Um, I guess we can look for all. That's not going to make it very easy to find. All I want to know is when and where we find... Here we go, clay. Uh, 1,000 kilo. There's a bunch of it... Uh, there's a bunch of it in the slime biome, and one tile is typically a thousand kilos, so that's not going to be any trouble at all. What is that? Visco gel. Wait, what? Why is... Isn't that where I put the... the transit tube? Why? What the... What? Huh? Oh, it's what we make it out of. Oh, those are two options. I thought it was I thought it required both for some reason. Okay, so we make it out of plastic and it doesn't instantly melt. I'm not sure why we would want to make our transit tubes out of um something that has to be at negative thirty one degrees to stay solid. But apparently that's an option. Uh, anyway, so the metal refinery... Ideally, I want to make the first one out of ceramic. Uh, which will give us some... The same overheat temperature as if we could make it out of steel. 275 degrees. Uh, what else? The rock crusher? Overheat temp 75... Uh, if we make it out of steel, 275, it doesn't, we can make it out of copper, mercury, electrum, aluminium ore, there it is, gold amalgam. That goes to 125 degrees, that's probably not going to cut it. So it would have to be made out of steel as far as resources that I've seen before. What was the result of the machines in the steam room? Machines in the steam room. Um, I think this is something similar to what I, to that actually, that's the idea. Do you mean when we were doing the oil stuff with the last save? Um, yeah, I was actually thinking of having these machines directly export their heat. Like, without, without any piping or anything. Uh, heat up a steam room. The battery storage, etc. where it was generating heat for reuse. Uh, yeah, it, it seemed to be working pretty well. Um, that room was also to consume the heat uh, dropped on us with regolith. Um, but yeah, uh, ideally, what I would like to do, and insofar as it's possible, do it from the start of the game, is build a room that is... Uh, build a room for industry... Which, instead of trying to actively cool that room, we're going to passively let the heat from it run a steam turbine. Much like we did with the, um, uh, with the heat from the, uh, from the regolith. So that's why I'm looking at a metal refinery with a overheat temperature well above 75 degrees. I may, I may make it this itself a steam room. Um, if I don't do that, it's gonna be like metal, whoops, uh, metal tiles directly above and steam room in there. But I love combining functionality when we can. 
So we'll see about that. Sounds expensive to make. Well, uh, we need ceramic for our first metal refinery, which is actually not that difficult. Uh, let's look at... I can't look at research right now. Uh, we just need a kiln, some clay, and some coal. And we need four recipes uh, to make enough ceramic. Uh, that is 200 coal... Sorry, eight recipes. 200 coal and less than one tile of clay uh, will make our metal refinery. Uh, the kiln itself is made out of... I think we'll have to make it out of something less durable to start with. And then we'll replace it with steel uh, before things get too hot. Um, we're gonna have to get oil, I think, for our first coolant. I, I presume we can use oil for the coolant for the metal refinery, right? Let's see. So it would be made of ceramic. Uh, it requires liquid intake pipe, liquid output pipe. And the reason to use oil is simply to have a coolant that won't flash to gas. Um, if it's in a room that is hot enough to produce steam. Uh, so let's see. Um, I don't know just how much liquid fits in this thing, but like... Well, it would probably be a good idea regardless to have a liquid reservoir nearby. Well, this doesn't line up very well, does it? We can't flip this around, can we? Nope. I think it's only the aqua tuners and uh, thermo regulators that we can flip around as far as this stuff is concerned. Um, let's see. So we'll have something like... Liquid Reservoir. Um, and we'll probably have pipes going all across the room with this. Just so it equalizes, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, we'll have pipe like so, and pipe like so, I guess. Which would look better. Uh, we can't really... Oh, here we go. Don't need a bridge for this one. I kind of like that better. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Alright, so we'll have the liquid reservoir on the left. And... No, not... There we go. How many machines can we fit? Uh, if we use our standardized block size. I think some of the machines that I would want in this room are too tall. But uh, let's suppose we start, whoops, start with something like this. We would have the most frequently used machines at the front, I think. Uh, refinement, rock crusher, probably the most frequently used. Uh, it would have to be made out of steel before we get steam in here as well. Um, even with insulated tile, I probably wouldn't have it right next to the bedrooms. But let's put that aside for the moment. Uh, we would have rock crusher. 
Metal refinery. Well, if it's on the... If it's on the right side of the door, then I can't really minimize the dupe's travel distance if I put that thing on the left side. Uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. The liquid reservoir doesn't actually have to be close to this thing, actually. Um, I'll probably put it at the back or even to the side over here. Then again, this will be probably exactly where I would want a large power transformer. Then again, I could just put it on the other side. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, but the idea is... This is going to have to be airtight. If it's going to be... If we're going to be keeping all this heat in here... Then... Not only should it be... Airtight... Like, we're going to need airlocks. I think I might have... Airlock door, airlock door. And we'll make this a vacuum. That'll keep the heat in here entirely. I really wish we could make insulated doors. Um, so that's... That's going to limit the size of this room a lot more, if we're trying to fit it in here, but I guess we probably won't for this one. Refinement. Uh, metal refinery. Rock crusher. I'm getting the order wrong now, but I'm just seeing what fits. Uh, we don't need any of these in that room. Ethanol distiller? I never bothered to use ethanol last time, and I had a whole lot of wood just sitting around. Uh, not getting used. We could use it to make nice food, but that requires dirt. I'm trying to limit the consumption of dirt. Lumber makes ethanol... Wait, is that really the only use for ethanol? Or we can... We can use it to run... Uh... Wasn't there a power plant that just consumes any kind of... Combustible liquid. Here it is. Two kilograms per second for two kilowatts of power. Uh, and it's also very dirty and spits out CO2 and polluted water, and I don't think it has output pipes for either of those. So for the last base you mentioned not really liking the layout of the base, have you decided any on how you want to adjust that? Yeah, that's what we're doing here. So first of all, I'm pretty sure... Okay, I definitely want the main bus to be at least nine tiles wide. That's kind of adding a little bit more than we'd necessarily like to dupe travel distance all the time, but uh, but I definitely want room for uh, large power transformers, um... The occasional transit tube access, maybe airlock doors like this. Uh, and storage bins. Well, we're definitely going to use infinite storage, I think. Um, for a lot of things. But... Even so... It's kind of handy uh, having that space there. 
And we can use storage bins to at least put certain resources close to certain other things this way. Sounds ex expensive to make. Yeah, definitely. But worth it in the long run. I want a nice, clean, organized base uh, that works really well. Um... Glass Forge is obviously going to get really hot. We're not going to use a polymer press. Uh, as usual, we're going to have glossy Dracos for our plastic. Oxalite refinery is also kind of small. Uh, this is the thing. This is actually the only thing that's not going to fit in a room like this. Uh, wow, that's a lot of heat. What are the overheat temperatures for these things? 75 degrees, it can be made out of ceramic. Fantastic. Uh, 75 degrees, it can be made out of steel. Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could always make another room like this, or I could just make it longer. I could make it end up looking a bit like certain Factorio main buses where everything comes off the middle, but some things, some things are wider than others. We don't necessarily have to stick to a grid system. Especially considering there isn't a room that gives us any kind of bonuses for manufacturing. So I could potentially... Uh, if I end up putting all of the manufacturing in one big room, though, the distance that they're going to have to travel from the center to get certain things done is going to start to look a little bit excessive, I think. On the other hand, it would be simpler to just have the one self-cooling steam room. But we need more than one uh, metal refinery, I just remembered as well. Because we wanted to have... Uh, one machine set to make iron indefinitely, one machine set to make steel indefinitely, and use some uh, pressure plates, weight plates, uh, to control when we stop doing that. Was there anything else that we were going to set to have its own dedicated machine, I wonder. I think if I... Well... I am very tempted. Uh, more than a little bit tempted to end up having the main bus part actually just exposed to space. So that that'll always be vacuum so that we don't need to put as much effort into an airlock. So like, if this is always vacuum, uh, and we just have an airlock like this, or like this, then temperature's never going to escape from here, unless we allow it to. So we're not going to have to make a vacuum lock. Because it's just going to be there to begin with. Um, the only downside of that is... Anything that does produce heat... Like this uh, power transformer, for example. We're going to have to run coolant pipes through it. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to have a look at. So, 
up and down the main bus we're gonna have pipes for common resources like water polluted water we definitely want them to be one tile apart Uh, if we have nine tiles, yay Oni, our PHL streams, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, if we have nine tiles uh, for our main bus, then we could have one, two, three, four, five liquids and five gases uh, going up and down quite easily without getting in each other's way. So the obvious liquids would be uh, water, polluted water, um, what else? Liquid, liquids. Uh, some kind of coolant, perhaps. Uh, I wish we could filter this by, like, common liquids as opposed to the liquid state of literally everything. Crude oil? I guess it wouldn't hurt. The fact that we're starting to run out of ideas already at three is actually really good. Uh, and as for the gas pipes, hydrogen, oxygen, natural gas, uh, Maybe hydrogen as coolant, because I want to use the AETN for that. Great plans for great future, that, that's the hope. Yeah, we're making our five-year plan. Um, oh, you can actually make it out of ceramic. Okay. Yeah, I think... I don't think we have to widen this any further. In before regrets that we didn't widen it even further. But I think three tiles on either side of the three transit things is probably enough. Um, and I actually wanted to try and make like a standardized coolant setup um, for most rooms. It's probably going to look something like what we had with... Oh yeah, two of these pipes are going to have to be coolant, because coolant has to go up and down. So probably the outside pipes should be coolant, right? Oops. And we could have both liquid and gas coolant, I suppose. Uh, anyway, the idea will be, for hydrogen, uh, we're going to be pumping very cold hydrogen through uh, insulated pipes. And then, let's say this is on its way back down somewhere. If our AETN is down here somewhere. Uh, we could have pipes going this way. And we could have a shutoff uh, somewhere. Does it have negative decor or anything? It actually does. That stinks. I could put it, like, here, I guess. That's probably not too bad. Make it look something like that. Um, that's not quite right. 
Wait, that's not right either, because then it would need a bridge. So it knows which way it's supposed to be going. If I... I think it'll need a bridge either way. Even if I just put the gas shut off, like... Uh, like here. Um... I think the gas that comes through this way would probably try to go back up here. So this would have to have a bridge, just so it knows it's one way. Gas bridge, something like this, I guess. Uh, and then you could have the gas shut off here, controlled by the temperature in these rooms. So, if temperature is high enough, let cold gas circulate through here. There's a lot of different cooling solutions to heat problems. One of them is not letting heat in the first place. Very helpful. I, I assume that was sarcasm. <laughs> I can only guess. Uh, but yeah, that actually... That actually seems like by far the most elegant cooling solution, actually. It's actually not that much to automate different uh, temperature controls for different rooms. We just have to have uh, each room... We, we just have to have the coolant cold enough to lower the temperature of every every room in the uh, in the base. Which I think isn't that far-fetched. I, th I suspect the AETN... Do we ever get more than one AETN? Uh, anyway, I suspect an AETN would be able to do most, if not all, of that uh, for the whole base. Otherwise, we can always do it with liquid as well, with active cooling. We could also do it with active cooling with... Uh, uh, thermoregulators as well, if we really want to. But yeah, we'll just dump that heat into the steam room, which, uh, again, I may... I may just have the steam room double as the industry room. If we are going to do vacuum down the middle, down the main bus... Is this still blind? Nah. I think we've done enough blind. Uh, if the main bus is going to be vacuum, then we are going to have to do the... Uh, what do you call it? We're going to have to do the wear spacesuits everywhere thing. Which I am honestly very tempted to do. Uh, where is it? Stations? We need an atmosphere check. That's actually a perfect fit. Oh, no it isn't. Well, if we do... If we get rid of this... If we do four bedrooms per... Uh, per block. And put the atmosphere checkpoint... Where is it? Stations. At Mosuit checkpoint. So after the three tiles, one checkpoint, four docks, four beds. That actually fits perfectly. And how big is this room for when, for when it's going to be a barracks? Uh, I believe that is... 76 tiles. That's... um. Slightly too big, actually, for a barracks. How, what, how much morale do we get from a barracks? Just one? Well, we can do that. Furniture, cot... What's the maximum number? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
64 tiles, right? Oh, well, we could always just not give them... We could always just not give them the ceiling until... Until we're improving the bedrooms. Unleash the back seating. Do not unleash all of the back seating. It depends what you mean by back seating. Um, I do want to keep the CO2 out of the bedrooms this time. So if we have like, well, make it mesh tiles. Me aren't mesh tiles and airflow tiles ugly though? Negative five decor. Different planets, some of them are hot, others are hotter. And only one cold planet. Interesting. Okay. Decor. Wow. They really hate... They really hate it that much, huh? I mean... Would you want your bedroom floor to look like this? To have, like, holes in it? It really is kind of silly, though, how... Uh, let's go back to where we had comfy beds. Oh, really? Furniture, comfy bed... And I'm thinking something like this. We'll only have one tile per room uh, that lets liquid and gas drop down. So we can maximize decor while still letting CO2 drop out the bottom. And if we apply that to cots, furniture, cot, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, how many tiles is this? 38. We could probably just lower the ceiling by one. And in the early game, we could have molding for the decor. Just only for today, indeed. Uh, Saproling, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Evil Pla, Simply Coco, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Nothing too bad that some statues couldn't fix. Well, we won't actually have room for the statues. Bedrooms need four height. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why. That's why we have this room here. But uh, when it's going to be a barracks, we need to keep it below sixty-four tiles. So it'll look more like this. I wonder. 70, 66, 63. 63. So we could fit uh, 10 cots before that. Alright, cool. Um, I'm definitely liking that. As for anything else that requires serious planning ahead of time, um, I don't know that there's all that much. Is there any way to control our fish population without doing it manually? I figured out 
manually controlling the other critters population. We just have um, uh, auto rank or surplus, and then we have a drop off for them, which is lower priority. By the way, what that gonna be? What do you mean? What's what gonna be? Would it be okay while we're still setting things up to just have heat leaking out of here a bit? I think it probably is. The next run. Oh, uh, I'm just going to do the same map, but I'm going to try and do it a lot better. And after we muster that, we'll look at other maps. Yeah, I think the more I think about it, uh, the more I do like the idea of the main bus kind of area. Um, just being exposed to vacuum. As weird as that sounds. DLC no want? Uh, not for a while. There's an awful lot to learn in this game. I don't need to complicate it even more. So, I think... I think I'll just use mechanized airlock. Uh, actually, if that's what I'm going to do, if I... Uh, I was going to say, if I don't mind losing a bit of gas. For rooms where I don't mind losing a tiny amount of gas to the void when they go through, we could just use a mechanized airlock. And for stuff like a steam room, just one airlock door should be enough. I suppose. If I do it that way. I'm, I'm kind of 50-50. I really like the space that we would save... Uh, when we would normally need double airlock doors. Oh, how much power would we be looking at for the refinement room, I wonder? For the way we plan to do it, uh, 2 times 1.2 kilowatts, well that's already maxed out. I think instead of a... Uh, what is it called? Oh. For rooms where we don't care about decor, uh, if we do use the heavy watt conductive joint plate, uh, it, it, sorry, if we do have the uh, vacuum in the middle, if we use a heavy watt joint plate or heavy watt conductive joint plate, uh, again, we don't have to worry about heat leaking through. Yeah, I'm actually liking this idea quite a bit. It's just going to cost us a bit of gas, like, all the time. Whenever they go through doors like this, we're going to lose a little bit of oxygen, but not really a whole lot. It's just, just going to be a slight increase in how much oxygen we need to produce. Okay, anything else we want to figure out before we get started? I kind of want to try coming up with a better design for the solar panels. Would running the plate from the back of the room away from the bus. Running the plate from the back of the room away from the bus be better to avoid the beauty penalty. 
Uh, I think the main bus is just a uh, lost cause uh, for decor, no matter what we do. Because... Fire pole is negative decor, ladder is negative decor, even plastic ladder is negative decor, transit tube is actually plus decor. Um, so unless it's literally just transit tube. Uh, let's see. Uh, every kind of gas pipe except for the normal one is negative decor. Presumably that's the same for fluids. Yep, negative decor. Uh, power cable is of course horrendously negative decor. Other solution to decor is not having the main bus. And how are they going to get around? And how are we going to keep things organized? Yeah, I, I think the main bus is just like a lost cause decor wise and we just want to we just want to keep them out of it as much as possible. A base designed to stair step? What do you mean by that? Stair step. I mean, unless we have like a main bus on either side of the base, and then... What? Just ladders and stuff? Like, no pipe, no conductive wire, nothing down the middle. That's going to be such a pain to get things on either side. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that. Okay, so solar panels. Um, we need to protect them. Uh, we need... Preferably window tiles, although... You could do it with bunker doors. That open up, but then if something goes wrong, uh, these are gonna get wrecked. How much space between floors are you leaving to run conveyors, pipes, and heavy cables? Uh, nothing between floors, that's what the main bus is for. So, what we did before... We had to have, um, oh, that's plastic tile. Thought that looked weird. Uh, what we did before, we had to have gaps between the solar panels. Ideally, I would like to eliminate those. And to do that, we would need to have just a about nothing but bunker doors up above them. I wonder how many it would take for the pattern to repeat. This many. Four solar panels. And the thing is, we need to worry about... Uh, the auto miners getting entombed. And I think the solution for that I have in mind... Where is it? Oh, shipping. Uh, we've got two things we can do about that. Build this up as high as possible. Why won't it let me? Okay, I just have to try to remember where that was. Auto... Uh, Robo Miner. Perfect. 
Uh, we could probably do more than... Well, we could do one for every other solar panel. No, actually, one, one per solar panel on the edge of it. Uh, and we we move this up as much as possible so that the amount of regolith that falls down here probably doesn't entomb a robo miner. Uh, but maybe as a backup, even if it does. Oh, wait. This is actually just far enough apart. No, it's actually perfect. It's just close enough together. Oh, that's beautiful. These are just close enough together to rescue each other. Um, I very much suspect that when it's all working properly, uh, we won't get enough regolith, or we would seldom get like eight tiles of regolith to entomb one of these. Uh, so they should be able to keep each other going indefinitely. Um, but perhaps we could have one on the edge somewhere uh, that just is always protected. The only problem with this is... Well, I was going to say, if something goes wrong and the dupes have to clean it up, they won't be able to reach up here to dig, but that's not quite true, because if it's regolith, it's unstable... We just dig it away from here, and that'll unentomb the Robo Miner. Um, I just realized, though, cooling the Robo Miners would be a problem if we do it like this. Because what we had before was. Basically, Robo Miners like this, only a bit different. And then. Uh, is it under Utilities? We had Drywall here so that we could have oil, so that we could trans transfer heat from the Robo Miners down somewhere else. But with this design. It really is unfortunate that we need gas or liquid to transfer the heat between the pipes and the machines. And you can't just, like, have the pipes touching the machines. Mad Dame Salsa, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. New base, indeed. Something happened to the old one. Uh, basically, it just got to the point where I'm like, okay... I feel like I've learned enough. I want to restart and do things better. That's all. Critical level of EXP accumulated, <laughs> indeed. Uh, neither a beginner nor an expert at this point. The only thing... I, I really love this design, but the only thing is how do we call the robo-miners? Uh... Is there an end game state for this game? Not to my knowledge. If we've built and researched everything, I would call that a win. And by built everything, I do mean like domesticated every plant, uh, done just about every possible like build we could come up with, like exploiting the heat from the magma and so on. I definitely want to cover most of the surface in solar panels. The other thing, if we do this, is the dupes can't reach this to repair or build or whatever. Do you want to try a different solution based on doors for regolith crushing? Uh, I kind of want the regolith, though. And I, I want to ex exploit the heat that we get from the regolith. Makes sense to me. I haven't played in so long. I wasn't sure if they'd added an end state yet. 
Yeah, I can't imagine they ever would, but I could be wrong. Uh, what should I do about cooling this stuff? I could vent gas onto them like I did last time. Still get heat and regolith. Crushing them with doors, so though, sounds really, really cheesy. Like, game mechanic exploity and not at all physics-based. Okay, is there some way to cool these that I'm not aware of? Or do I just have to douse them, douse them in gas and... Uh... And or liquid. Do they... They do dig regolith that's like falling through the air, right? Am I actually going to end up relying on that? I'm, I'm having some silly ideas here. Let's get some free power for testing. And is it nighttime? It's not nighttime. We're good. Uh, I'm going to drop some regolith. Uh, right about here. And... It looks like they're too slow. They try, but they're too slow to, like, catch it. Yeah, they're too slow. Look at the miners... Hook all the miners up to hot tubs. Dupes become streamers. Profit? Oh my god. Manky Kitty, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I can give you an idea, but it's a bit involved for the cooling of these. I'm interested. They absorb heat from the doors too, which is heated from 300 to 400 degree regolith. Uh, not from what I've seen, actually. Um, like, what we've done before is, for example, well, we've actually done this before as well, but, uh, we've had the, the glass warming up, and with, if it's a vacuum, absolutely zero heat gets transferred to or from the RoboMiner here. See myself out. So the thing with cooling is you need a transfer medium. Yeah, that's the thing that I was just talking about being unfortunate. You can run a liquid pipe and a coolant past them, but you need a drop of liquid on the square. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Is it it's, it's sucks and it's bad and it's dumb. Because it's not as if we shouldn't be able to like connect the coolant pipes directly to the robo miners. Um, and if it's hanging upside down like this, it's gonna have to be gas, and that gas is just gonna dissipate. But that would be easy? It would make sense. I'm not entirely fond of, uh, arbitrary difficulty that makes no sense. Like, the, uh, the mission time is in XCOM. If a turn is, like, five seconds or less than that, why is it we have eight turns to hack a machine from the start of the mission when the enemy doesn't even know we're there? Just how likely is it that we get there literally just in time if we sprint? Obviously it's for game balance reasons, but it's, it's silly. Uh, 
I love this design, but I hate that I'm going to have to, like, vomit gas onto it to make it work. My tip would be to rotate those miners 90 degrees and have a single square under the head of the miner? Under the head. What do you mean by under the head? Doesn't it... Isn't it any tile... Any one of these four tiles gets entombed, and this won't work. That's where you can put the liquid. Oh, right. It, it is true... We probably lose a bit of power overall. But if we have... Oh, that's lined up wrong. Uh, I found if we have... One tile, maybe even up to two tiles, uh, blocked. The solar panels will still reach maximum output. I could do it that way. Alright, so one tile very obviously still reaches maximum output. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle or anything. My idea at first was, oh, maybe what this graphic is telling me is the middle doesn't matter. Um, but it's actually... Okay, so two tiles does block it a bit. It does still reach maximum, but it's almost the middle of the day. There's also something else I wanted to test. Um, let's see. Window tiles. Uh, airflow tiles. Mesh tiles. I think that's it for the see-through tiles, right? Uh, where's our... Lux display? Is it materials? No, here it is. Light display. Uh, we do indeed get more light. Uh, I wonder how tough a mesh tile could be, though. If an asteroid somehow manages to hit it compared to a diamond window. So we're looking at 7.6k compared to 6.8k. So again, it's not that we don't reach maximum power output from the solar panel, uh, but how much of the day we get where it's giving us maximum output. Anything that is not bunkers will get damaged. Yeah, we're going to have the bunkers above them. But my idea is... Well, not my idea, I've seen it. Uh, if we build it out of diamond glass... Uh, if we build window tiles out of diamond, um, they're actually incredibly tough against that kind of accident. Um, we could maybe use the diamond window tiles until we've got our build complete and running smoothly. Where's the light display again? Here it is. 68918. Yeah, it's the same regardless of material. Anything that's not bunker spawn... Oh, you can spawn a media? Uh, spawner. I don't know if we can, or if I just don't know how to. I don't think we can brush Meteor, can we? Nope. Spawner Comet. Comet. Comets? Snack Bomb? What? <laughs> Defunct Satellite. Rock Comet. Dust Comet. Copper Comet. Gold Comet. Uh, 
are these all going to be functionally the same as the meteors we get in the main in the main game? Oh, these are little baby ones. All right, so that's regular glass. Uh, that's mesh tile. And that's diamond window, which is apparently about the same toughness. If not less, question mark? All relevant? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no reason to do the diamond windows. That's good to know. I'm a little disappointed because they look nicer. Uh, but yeah, this will be mesh tiles. Or I guess it could be airflow tiles. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just realized. So if these are airflow tiles... And... Shipping... We'll do our Robo Miners like this again. That means they won't be hanging from the bunker doors. They cover each other. Well, we're still going to have the problem of... They can rescue each other, but they're all going to get entombed when the doors open, right? But if I did do it this way, with airflow tile, uh, we could have a nice, easy drywall here, so we could have oil. Um, I also wanted to check this as well, actually. Uh, does oil in any way affect our lux level? 78.23k... Um, brush, rude oil, we're using this for coolant because it's readily available and, oh wow, um, that looks different from what I was expecting. What the? Last time we had window tiles. And we had a bit of crude on top of it. Just so that we could keep the... Whoops. Uh, just so that we could keep the miners cool. And it didn't prevent... I mean, this is probably a lot more crude, but uh, it didn't actually prevent light from getting through. Yeah, there we go. But it looks so... It, it looks like it's evaporating. It is evaporating. Even though it's on an airflow tile that won't let liquid through. Liquids reduce the light output? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, I wanted to see the exact amount, though. How much have we got here? 1.5 kilos... 380... Okay. Let's see. It's actually the same. It doesn't seem to care... Oh, wait. It's about the same. It doesn't care too much about the volume up here. But it is a sick... Oh, I forgot to compare it without the, um... Uh, with the glass, but without the oil. So we're looking at... It's trivial. 46558467. Yeah. 46762. 46762. Uh... 
in places where the crude oil is thin enough, it actually makes no difference. Interesting. But we, we do need it to be like just the bare minimum of coolant up here. Then you have the problem of the full tile regolith displacing the crude oil. True. Because uh, what we had last time was like... Uh, we had this symmetrical build with a lot of wasted space in between the solar panels. Whereby we would put the Robo Miners here. And when the regolith. Eventually, we ended up with just a little bit of crude here, here, and here. Because the regolith would just kind of squish it into oblivion. Um. Maybe I should just use periodic expulsion of gas to cool the robo miners. Or I could even make it rain on them. <laughs> if we're gonna go the gas route then I'd really like to put the Robo Miners up here. Oh, I can't place that there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if we're going to go to the trouble of using gas... Uh, to call the Robo Miners, I'd like to do it this way. That's one off again. Oh, there's another problem. It's a problem we've solved, but if we are going to open the if we are going to hang the robo miners from the bunker doors like this, uh, the robo miners won't work while the bunker doors are open, which means what we have to do is open the bunker doors, let the regolith fall through, close the bunker doors just long enough for the robo miners to pick up all of the regolith uh, and then open them again. And we have done that before, but we're going to lose some time on the solar panels. And if we're going to do that, uh, that is, if we're going to lose some of the solar panel time, I know it's going to be on a cycle of when the meteors come and go, as opposed to the daily cycle. But... Maybe we should just do it something like that. Unfortunately, we don't have bunker, uh, bunker doors that are like five tiles wide. Otherwise, we could actually do a nice build here. I guess we could do it like... Nope. Nope. That would look horrible. Your robo miners are too close? What do you mean? Uh, not sure how to pronounce but that. Nitro Kate. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kevin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. New colony. Yeah, uh, we are doing some planning stuff before we start the new one. Uh, I'd really like to do a build 
where we have the maximum solar panel spam. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out a good way to go about it. Uh, I mean, we could... I might have to do it this way. Name a dupe? Okie dokie. Uh, you're the third person uh, waiting for one, by the way. I'm going to start with eight dupes, or rather, I'm going to limit myself to eight for a while. Uh, and we've got three claimed already. Okay. Um, that's actually probably... We did confirm that if two tiles are blocked per solar panel... Uh, it will reach maximum power output, um, but it'll be like halfway through the day. But since we're spamming more solar panels, uh, maybe that's fine. Since Regolith isn't going to touch the solar panel, you don't need to dig the other solar panels. Don't need to dig the other solar panels. Oh, I want the Robo Miners to be able to dig each other out, is the thing. But then again... Okay, I have had Regolith find its way in at an angle before, but it seems to be very rare. So perhaps... Oh, let's see. Shipping... Robo Miner. Um, that's a misclick. If they just touch... That's just going to be double on top of one solar panel. I was wondering why I felt like I was suffocating, and I was wondering if it was due to the flu, but no, as it turns out... Tumbling? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are you... Is drive-by dad jokes your alt account, Tumbling? Medias fly at an angle? Yeah. Um, I've had, like, let's see, when I had it, like, let me just put this back so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, when I had it like this, no, it's not quite right. And minor. Uh, when I had it like this, it was possible, albeit rare, for the Robo Miners to get entombed. Uh, although, I suppose that should only happen if the doors malfunction, if they don't close quick enough. Theoretically, right? I'm alive. We'll take it. How goes the planning? Not too bad. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm happy with the main bus idea. Uh, nine tiles wide, three for travel, three on each side. For things like power transformers, transit tube access, and so on. Uh, that leaves us room for five uh, fluid pipes of each type, up and down. Uh, the outside ones I'm going to use for coolant, the other three are going to be the common resources that we have to pump around. Bunker doors, love to hate them, hate to love them, so power hungry. It's not really their power consumption that I find annoying, it's um, the fact that the fact that they don't line up with solar panels actually really annoys me. I wish you could do just custom width bunker doors, like, say, two to seven tiles would be good. Meteors also have an impact range beyond the door, which can move debris too. That's weird.
So this would be all the more protected from getting entombed. But again, we'd have to do the door timer thing. Um, so I think... I think I'll probably end up just going for this. Uh, we'll block two whole tiles from each solar panel. The miners will be able to rescue each other. They won't be dependent on the doors being closed. I, I could put them down here, I guess. I could even put them there as well. No, I think I already decided... Uh, it, we're gonna do the gas cooling thing anyway. But if, uh, if I do the gas cooling thing, and we're gonna have an indefinite row of these, then we're gonna have issues with balancing the gas coming out in order to cool these things. And unfortunately, we can't temperature detect uh, each individual robo miner. Mm, I'm gonna absolutely hate this, but I think I might end up doing it this way. That would also mean we don't need the bunker doors up here. It would also mean we wouldn't block the solar panels. Uh, I keep coming back to the same problems. These are gonna get entombed when we start. We could have one on the edge that rescues this one, and so on. But then we're going to have even more downtime for the solar panels. Gas tends to flow evenly over drywall, so it won't dissipate fast, so you can make a long drywall. Well, the thing is, when we used gas to cool these things, uh, if the vent was right next to them, it was very effective. But just, like, filling a room with gas, like, if, if we made all of these, uh, pixel pack log, uh, if we made all of this drywall, for example, and we let our waste gas into this room, when these doors are closed. Uh, it's actually shocking how much longer it takes the gas to cool down these robo miners. It might yet be enough if... Uh, I mean, we just have to keep the individual robo miners below 275 degrees, because they'll be made of steel. If we're going to do this, though... If we're going to do it on the floor, we may as well use liquid. Except, with this design, the liquid will get displaced by the regolith. Uh, if we're going to do it on the ceiling, we have to do the timer stuff with the bunker doors that I kind of want to avoid. Uh, everything keeps pushing me back to this design. Except... Hold up. If I have... If I have, like... See-through tiles, like so... Well, it won't be mesh tiles. Uh, if I have airflow tiles specifically, I don't suppose I don't suppose this miner would be able to see regolith here. It wouldn't even have to. We've still got full coverage like this. But I am curious. Uh, let's cut off these ones. And that, for some reason, doesn't hold onto any of the 
liquid. Also, this was too far away anyway. I, I wish I knew why airflow tile blocks liquid flow, and yet... And yet... That doesn't look like blocking liquid flow very much. John, you in question? I don't remember. Uh, what was your question? Temperature sensor will be bad. Yeah, the temperature sensor won't give us the temperature of the the robo miners that we're trying to call. Any reason why you wouldn't simply sit down the robo miners on the metal tiles? And cool those down with some liquid loop. Because the regolith is going to fall onto it. Uh, and get... Oh! Do you mean metal tiles like here? Well, first of all... I wonder what's going to happen to the regolith here. Now that I look at it. I don't necessarily care. But... Um... No, if we have, uh, we found we found this last playthrough. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter how conductive these tiles are. In a vacuum, they won't actually exchange heat with the Robo Miner. Weirdly enough, that's why it's so difficult to cool these. I mean, they really should exchange heat with these metal tiles. Um, is that warming up? How did it just gain 0 0.2 degrees? Oh, that, there was gas coming from the media. That's why. Um, but yeah, let me just... Do we have a heat gun? Here we go. Can we go negative? Well, why, don't, why don't we just say... 200 degrees. Does that even work here? I can't seem to heat up the Robo Miner this way. Uh, heat gun. It doesn't seem to be working at all, actually. Okay, here, here's something. 354, 352 degree regolith. We're just going to put this here. And we're going to let the game run for a bit. As you can see, the Robo Miner isn't changing its temperature by a single tenth of a degree. And the regolith is changing temperature, it's conducting heat down here. Probably why I never bothered with solar. Yeah, it's actually a big problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I feel like this is an oversight. Like this this makes so little sense. If only it was as easy as taking heat from these metal tiles or whatever tile was here. Uh but yeah, it has to be immersed in fluid of some kind in order to exchange any heat. Uh, what I was hoping, two things I was hoping, implicitly I was hoping that oil wouldn't inexplic inexplicably disappear from here, even though this is a airflow tile. It says it blocks liquid flow. Um, but the other thing I was hoping was Let's see, regolith. If we spawn regolith here, uh, it, yeah, the robo miner doesn't have line of sight. Then again, maybe it doesn't need to. Does it matter if the robo miner is? This way or that way? 
Yeah, it does. For the line of sight. I wonder if we could just do it like this, actually. Rude oil. That's going to be a pain to set up initially. Um, and we've only got 300 grams of crude oil here. But I think it would have a better line of sight, right? It probably really doesn't matter, though. What if the miner was vertical? You mean like this? Where are we going to put it? So this is like 30 grams of crude. It's just not visible. Oh, 300 grams. Which is about the same as this. Interesting. Alright, we could... Well, it wouldn't make a difference. Uh, it still loses the line of sight for mining purposes. And if we can have more crude this way... Uh, it'll conduct... It'll conduct temperature better, right? And we're already blocking Lux uh, this direction, so the amount of crude doesn't matter. So, if we connect these like so... Oh, now we don't have any power. It's night time anyway. Smashy smash. Oh. For some reason I thought the solar... I, I forgot the solar panels themselves count as... Uh... Like, tiles you can walk on. Just put our test supply of power back for when the meteors stop. Do you need better though? Maybe it's just enough? If you manage to get the miner vertical with its base dripping in liquid oil and cool down said oil, you'll be golden? Yeah. We've solved this problem, but I'm just trying to solve it better. So we could maybe do it like this. Um, we're going to lose out on a little bit more solar power. But I think this is going to be the most robust uh, and also nice repetition with the design. We don't actually need any of these except for the ones right behind the Robo Miners uh, to keep the crude oil from disappearing. Like so. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's going to be a pain getting that little bit of crude oil there to start with as well. Um, but they should have... Oh no, they don't even have coverage. There are tiles that... We're going to have to do it like this, I think. It actually kind of looks a little bit better, I think. It's so goofy how we need this tiny little drop of crude oil. Gives us a nice, consistent pattern... The oil cooling is only until you get uh, Neobium After that you make Thermium Miners and forget the heat What's a, what's a Thermium Miner? Thermium 
Uh, let's see. Melting point is very, very high. Overheat temperature plus 900. Wow. Tungsten and niobium. Well, we've never seen niobium, so we're designing this for pre-niobium. But yeah, good to know that we can get the overheat temperature well above that of regolith. It's actually already hauntingly close. Like, the, the overheat temperature of steel is uh, 275 for the robo miners, And the temperatures we're looking at for regolith are like low 300s at worst, I think. Why is this so cold? That's weird. Um, 400s? Yeah, I guess. 220? Oh, it's spreading across the uh, bunker door, that's why. But yeah, having robo miners that simply don't care about the heat would obviously be uh, advantageous. Although, after we've set up a system that pumps heat without paying power, pumps the heat away and converts it to steam and runs steam engines, uh, there's really no reason to change it. And uh, we don't have to solve this problem again, but just to, just to show you what we'll be doing. Uh, so the solar panels are going to be in vacuum, so they're going to stay at exactly the temperature that they were built at, unless something goes horribly wrong. Uh, just like that robo miner that I showed you before that was touching hot regolith that wasn't gaining any temperature. Uh, so we're going to use that problem to our advantage. Uh, to keep the solar panels cool. Um, but right below the solar panels, we're going to have steam turbines. Um, I don't know how many exactly we really need, but I'll probably just go overkill and have one steam turbine per solar panel. Actually, one steam turbine per solar panel was enough, and then some when we had like four tiles between each solar panel. So I imagine a steam turbine every other solar panel is probably going to be good enough. Um, but that said, I would much rather go overkill than risk uh, the self-cooling system getting to the point where it can't cool itself. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just, it's also, four is a good number for these. IDC, thank you for the follow. Uh, All Heartland, thank you very much for the shout out. Oh, that was two days ago. Wait, what? I thought I had another notification earlier today. Dub. Well, thank you anyway. I never actually saw a shout-out in that feed before. Oh, it must be the new slash shout-out command. Uh, but yeah, we can do up to five... Um, steam turbines sharing an output like this. And we're going to have them... Uh, cool each other, basically. So the output water is at 95 degrees. We just have to keep the steam turbine below 100. Uh, we're going to have hydrogen gas in here in order to transmit that temperature more efficiently. And uh, down here we have basically... Uh, we have our coolant pipes. Mm. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to have a bit of extra pipe, I guess. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna have coolant pipes running through where we used to have glass, but we'll have mesh tiles. Uh, so that's gonna absorb heat from the regolith. Uh, it's also going to cool uh, the robo miners. Uh, and we don't even need a pump or anything, or a thermal aqua tuner. Uh, we're basically just going to have those run down here and do a loop through the steam room. Um, and we've got a completely passive cooling system. No aqua tuners, no pumps, no nothing. Uh, basically zero power cost. Um, but yeah, I think... I really don't love having to have this drop of oil like this, but it's it. I'm gonna pretend it's not that bad. The robo miners are able to rescue each other on the off chance they get entombed. Um, the only thing I'm afraid of here is maybe occasionally. Regolith finds its way onto this tile, and we lose the oil. But theoretically, that shouldn't happen. I'll definitely give it a go. Uh, but I'm not going to spend the time in Sandbox right now to go to the trouble of testing that. I think I'd like to get started with the main game. Is there anything else I want to figure out before we get started? I don't really think so. I think we've got more than enough room. Uh, well, considering our coolant loop is going to be on the outside. The gas is going to be hydrogen, so we'll have access to hydrogen wherever we want anyway. Uh, water, polluted water, and probably crude oil. I think that's probably going to be fine. And we've got hydrogen on the outside, natural gas. And we're not going to pump CO2 all the way up and down, I don't think. Well, maybe. But I'm having trouble thinking of any other gas. So we've, we've probably got enough room for pipes. Uh, gases. CO2, chlorine. No, we're just going to store chlorine in one room to keep things clean. And that's about it, as far as I can think of. So we're not going to need, like, a main bus pipe for that. I don't think Dashna Saltvine actually consumes chlorine, does it? Atmosphere chlorine. It's... Does it produce chlorine? Or is this how much it consumes? Use your waste gases to cool your miners? Yeah, we did that before. Uh, but I... I did talk about this already, there's going to be some problems uh, if I'm trying to do an indefinite line of them and pull them that way. Chlorine is stored in the sleeping court. <laughs> Morpheus. That's, that's not where we store the, the chlorine. I would never do that. Not even once. Not even by accident. Especially not by accident. Uh, yeah, I don't see myself having like a main bus for chlorine. So that's hydrogen, oxygen, maybe CO2. Oh, definitely um, natural gas. Probably natural gas. Must have been mistaken. Yeah, exactly. All right, I think I think we've figured out enough to start our game. Let's not quit to desktop. 
Let's go new game, survival. Uh, I don't want new and confusing things when I haven't figured out the base game yet. Settings, not sandbox. Uh, this is all default. Seems good. And let's start. Uh, so I'm going to be very picky with my dupes, as usual. I'm going to limit it to 8 at first. And I want a really, really good hauler builder. Um, tidy? I don't really want... Well, you did not choose the planet. Fine with default one. Yes, definitely. I've still got much to learn. Uh, let's maybe re-roll that. Building, supplying, digging. Yeah. Oh, supplying is strength as well. Tidying and supplying both give plus strength. Boovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Orita, welcome, welcome also. Uh, so that's number four for a dupe. That's number five, I think. No, Morpheus, I think you already had one claimed. I can give you a refund for that. Let me just double check. Yeah, 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 you've got two dupe names, so I'll, I'll give you that one back. Uh, so that is one, two, three, four, five out of our first eight that we're going to be stuck with for a long time. Um, building, supplying, digging. Do I want a builder digger? Maybe. I mostly want a builder who brings the supplies himself. Decreased germ resistance is not that bad. In increased construction. That might actually be really good. And then we've got... Operating, tidying, farming. That's probably fine. Decreased agriculture, though. Bubbles. Kitchen menace. Uncultured. Looking to I definitely want three interests. Suit wearing farming building. Um anyone who builds I want supplying as well. I want them to have strength and preferably athletics. But we can train athletics, right? Researching, supplying, cooking. That sounds okay. Starts with electrical engineering. Isn't that a building skill? Uh, flatulent, I don't think so. Wrenching, operating, tidying. Definitely want people hauling sooner with this run. I want to keep everything tidy. Starts with super hard digging, but you're not interested in digging. Operating, digging, supplying. Decreased machinery. Uh, digging, cooking, researching. All right. Decreased machinery. Okay. That seems good. We got a chef researcher digger. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, especially for early on. Focus on digging. 
and then farming, doctoring, researching. We've already got someone ready to research. Farming and decreased agriculture, I think not. Uh, decorating, researching, cooking. Uh, I'm not really interested in decorating in the early game. These are all pretty bad so far. Doctoring, tidying, farming. Mouth breather? I think not. Supplying, tidy, supplying and tidying and decorating. So we could basically just have a dedicated hauler who does art when everything's done. I'm... I'm okay with that, actually. That's That seems pretty good to me. Alright. So. Uh, Morpheus, since you're the first one with the name of Dupe, who's here as far as I know. Uh, do you want the, the builder, the researcher, or the hauler artist? Uh, then there's Harvey, if Harvey's here, Kevin, Evil Pla, Buvim. The researcher? Okie dokie. Fantastic. Uh, so that leaves Max the Builder and uh, Trevaldo, the Holder Decorator. Uh, Kevin, Evil Pla, Buvim. If any of you want one of those specifically, speak up. The Great Cosmos? We're definitely going with that. Fantastic. Alright. First thing, pause the game. That's actually a pretty nice reservoir of water to start with. Um, I've already got a slime biome here. Maybe I should make the main bus area on the left. Um, two, three. I didn't design what I wanted the uh, water reservoir to look like. I probably should have. But yeah, I think I'll start... I'll have the main bus on the left side of the printing pod. Just because we'll have a bit longer before we need to dig out a slime biome. Alright. So, I guess let's get to digging. And... I should really set priorities first. Um, I want, whoops, oh, that's sort by, whoops. I have no preference, okay. We'll just go with Max then. Evil Pla. Uh, and that leaves Kevin and Harvey. Well, we'll have to get another dupe for one of those. Uh, what was I trying to figure out? Oh yeah, priorities. Uh, let's see. I definitely want... Storing and supplying... Uh, was it Evil Pla who is our... Digger? Indeed it is. Alright, Evil Pla. Building, supplying. I could put supplying in front of building so that it, so that Evil Pla will bring the supplies and then build. Actually, I think he'll have to bring the supplies 
two build. So I might do it that way. Uh, and then digging and then everything else, perhaps? Except I kind of want tidying to be everyone's job. Even if it's not top priority. So, building, supplying, storing, why did... Oh, yeah, yeah. Building, supplying, digging, tidy, and then anything else. Uh, Morpheus is digger, griller, researcher. Uh, researching is never an emergency. Probably dig first. Um, booking and research second, and then everything else. Uh, attack will be higher because you've got, like, the digging skill for it. I want tidying above all the other low-priority jobs. So that's digging, cooking, researching, tidying, everything else, except for attacking. Oh, I actually want toggling to be high-priority for everyone. Uh, and then Travaldo, or Evan, or uh, Harvey, uh, is a hauler artist. So, storing, supplying, actually probably supplying and then storing, and then tidy. Uh, supplying, tidying, storing, art is here. Everything else can drop down one. But definitely not a. Whoops. Whoop. What the? Definitely not a doctor, though. Uh, let's see. Reset. Wait, what? Oh, that's Morpheus. Ah, oh, crap. Did I mess up? Morpheus. Let's see. Morpheus is digger, researcher, gorilla. Not in that order. Let's say digging, grilling, researching. Oh. These buttons exist. That would have been good to notice sooner. Let's reset all of these. Okay. Digging. Uh, cooking, researching. Fantastic. I don't really need to prioritize or deprioritize everything. Attacking. Uh, I want tidying above everything else. Oop. Okay, so that's Morpheus. Travaldo. Uh, falling and then art. Let me just reset all of this. I think I want to start by dropping everything a bit. Also, toggling should always be high, though. Okay. Supplying, then storing, slash tidying. Uh, then decorating. Perfect. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Alright, I think we're ready. And the reason I went to all that trouble first is they're going to run off and start digging in whatever order. 
I don't want to waste a single second of their time on the first date. I think we'll put the bathrooms up here. Actually, that's gonna... This could be our nature reserve for the moment, I guess. One, two, three... No, it'll have to be somewhere else, like here, perhaps. One, two, three, four plants. Well, in that case, we don't have to worry about this. We're going to put ladders on the left. Speed things up a bit. We're going to need access to some water for the sink to work. Let's see. I prefer to start this. Cold already? It's 22 degrees in here. Let's get a door. I actually can't make a door yet. I don't really want to kill those plants yet. Alright, door goes here. Uh, outhouse. Goes here and medicine wash basin goes here. And we're gonna need some barracks. Why don't we put the barracks right below the bathroom? Furniture Fantastic. Um, we should be able to get that done. Oh, we need, um, I think we're running out of time here. We need a pitcher pump. Down here-ish. I guess I'll dig out the oxalite. Can we actually get here? Wouldn't you want bathrooms at the lowest level, bedrooms higher up? Because oxygen is lighter than carbon dioxide? Uh, for now I'm just trying to get everything done before the first cycle finishes. We can move it around with relative ease after that. Oh, we need more copper. Didn't see the start. Did you max difficulty settings? No, absolutely not. What is this requiring? Unreachable dig. How is that unreachable? It still says it's unreachable. Serious? Oh, I, I think I see. Okay. Uh, plumbing. Pitcher pump. Right about here. Fantastic. No! 
They're not going to wash their hands. Uh, because of one tile. Germs everywhere. Amazing. Maybe I should have just built one wash basin and outhouse to start with. If you force them to move inside the bathroom, they'll wash. They didn't get to putting water in here, is the thing. The The bell rang just before they were going to do this job right here. And now they're idle. Okay. Move to here. Move to here. And then... Uh, I guess let's start digging up this coal and copper. And... I'm pretty sure I want... Well, I don't know if I want that to be permanently where the water reservoir is going to be. Uh, Motorax, Sheep Seme, uh, and Electrocutor, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. What happened? Did your previous base die? Nope, it just got to the point where I'm like, uh, okay, I've learned a lot, I want to restart and do better. That's all. It, it was over a thousand cycles old, I don't think we were going to die. Oh, we've still got idlers. Uh, let's dig down here as well then. And... Uh, let's see. I don't really want to get rid of the natural plants, but I don't want to be waiting 600 years either. Dig through here as well, please. Alright, we should probably get some oxygen generation at some point. We need more copper. Easily remedied. I think I'll just throw that down here for now. Uh, oxygen diffuser. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves a science. figure out what to research first. Uh, let me just lower the priority on this. I don't suppose we've seen any hint of a geyser yet? Is it mineral? I think we can see obsidian with this. 
That's a lot of granite. Oh, it follows a certain pattern. Yeah, I don't think there's any geysers nearby. Oh, I forgot to do the scheduling. I mean, this is probably fine for now, but still. Let's throw together some storage bins. If nothing, so the dupes will automatically tidy up. Just allow everything for now. Just about. Kind of taking that, uh, taking turns heading down here to do the ladder because of the shape of resupplying it. Um, maybe I should go for double. Uh, I should definitely prioritize this stuff. I don't care too much how quickly they build this, but we're not doing things. Oh, I see. I was going to say, we're not doing things very efficiently. Um, let's bump up this priority. When first starting, the light from the printing pod provides a lit bonus to your research station. Uh, good point. Let's swap those around. Station. Fantastic. How much difference does that make? Is that vacuum? It is vacuum. Hmm. Oh, and I forgot to prioritize these, but they're close anyway, it'll be fine. Also, speaking of close, let's enable proximity for priorities. Nice. Let's research. What should we research first? I never can decide. Um, I mean, it probably really doesn't matter. Let's get advanced research unlocked. Planters? We'll be okay for food for a minute, especially if we take advantage of natural plants. Printing time? What do we got? A hip squeak. Um, I'll t I think I will take the pip squeak if we don't have someone amazing. Cannot do digging errands, that's okay. Cannot do doctoring errands, that's okay. Cannot do cooking errands, that's okay. Supplying suit wearing, early bird. And pretty much just a dedicated hauler. I really prefer my dupes to have three interests so that we can get more morale. Uh, decorating, ranching, farming, that's not the worst. Actually, that's kind of unproductive when, when you've caught up on these two. Cooking, farming, decorating, masterworks. Oh, we got a night owl, though. Fifteen percent faster, including eating and bathroom? I did not know that. Love this game, but I never get very far. I always end up directionless. 
understandable. Very much understandable. Um, I think we might take Stinky. Because it's not like I can't train him on strength and athletics, right? Ranching, farming, and decorating. No real downside, and a night owl. Yeah, I think we could use the extra hand. Alright. Speaking of which, I have exactly... One, two, three people to give names, and... Uh, one, two dupes who haven't been named yet. Alright, we'll do Harbour UK for the Artiste, I think. And... Uh, Cavern. And the... Stinky? I mean, the new dupe. And that just leaves Boovim. Okay. Uh, I gotta do prior. I need to do a schedule as well. Because we need a Night Owl schedule. So, all attributes plus three at night. How about... There's no button to just, like, move all of this over five tiles, right? I kind of want downtime to be at the same time as... Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Work. Uh, downtime. Bedtime. Bath time. Seems good. On second thought, I could make it so that it's more the opposite. So let's go with like... Downtime... Bedtime... Bath time... That seems okay. Don't necessarily have to be a night owl to be on this schedule either. Uh, let's maybe put Harvey on it. Oh, the new dupe refuses to do digging errands, so Kevin might finally stop his self-destructive streak. Oh no. Uh, let's see, bio. Uh, tri tripophobia, yes. That is cavern. Research continues. I think we're about to get idle dupes if I'm not careful. Uh, let's go with building this out. this as well. It's going to be in the way. That's going to be in the way. I'm just going to keep sticking to the left until we don't need our natural plants. our skills. Cavern already has room for improvement. Uh, but Cavern doesn't dig. 
Oh yeah, it's usually the first dupe you get that actually surpasses all the others. Uh, as in the fourth one. The first one you print. Uh, I think farming is more important. You know? Fantastic. How's our research queue? Not even halfway through the first one yet. What happens if you set sl Oh, I thank you for reminding me. I need to... I need to sh fix this right now. Actually, like... Right, right now. What happens if you set sleep at two spots? Or do they need... Three. Oh, um, if you don't give them enough sleep, they'll get, they'll be tired. They'll, uh, they won't be as, as good at doing things. As long as no one sleeps on the floor. There we go. X-rated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We don't actually have a barracks right now because we dug out that tile. I thought those sand circles were all, uh, were all eggs for a second there. How's our oxygen? Insufficient. Kind of expected that. Um, we can probably just put two of these next to each other. Might be better if I bring this one over here instead, though. It's not great to rely on air pressure to push things around in this game. Exploration continues. Should I do double ladders until we have poles? How long till we get poles? It's right here, actually. Uh, what if we just went straight for poles? That way I won't have to do a temporary build. We can dig this out while we're at it. Might make it a bit easier to supply the ladders down below. Oh, they're already having trouble getting this far down because we don't have oxygen masks. Okay. Actually, I kind of want to... Oh, that's chlorine. No, that's carbon dioxide. Good. Uh, I definitely want to dig over to this uh, vacuum so that the CO2 will have more volume to fall into. Uh, so the oxygen will go further down here. While we're at it, can we dig that away? There's our CO2 spreading around. 60 grams in this tile and over 900, just under 900 in this one. So that CO2 there should sink down a bit, I imagine. They have an exhaustion bar. In some cases, even four is not enough. If you play a map with frozen core... You can just dig a hole at the bottom and all the CO2 freezes. Nice. 
Very cool. Uh, pun or no pun? Let's harvest those plants. I don't think anyone's got... Oh yeah, I didn't give priorities to Cavern. Let's have a look. Cavern cannot dig. Uh, farming, ranching, and art. Okay. We are going to go for... Well, let's drop everything first. Toggling, max prio. Uh, farming should be top priority. Ranching. Well, ranching also top priority, but that'll come after farming. I think this goes left to right. Uh, decorating can come after supplying, storing, and tidying. And I think that'll just about cover it. Uh, but the other thing is, I don't think I've got anyone really prioritizing operating is the only problem. Yeah, not even a little bit. We've got <laughs> zero or negative three machinery skill. Uh, I think we'll have our hauler artist also do operating because that'll get uh, that'll get Harvey's athletics up as well. We'll eventually want to max out everyone's athletics regardless. Oops, I didn't mean to do that actually. Can we just can we not with the digging up the plant there. No. Cancel uproot. Sand. Dig the sand. Cancel the uproot. That's the only problem with that mod. That uh, automatically uproots when things are in the way. Saves us a lot more time than it causes problems. In fact, that's probably literally the first time it's given me any trouble. Okay. I think we're going to get idle dupes in a second. Should we keep digging up? I don't see why not. Oh, we can't super hard dig through that? Oh. Can they squeeze through here? Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about this then? Still too much hard digging. There we go. As a research. It's not moving very quickly. Maybe I need to prioritize it higher. No, I think we're fine actually. Just putting everything away at this point. Achievement earned. Bed and bath, wow. Wait, what? Oh, I thought... I, I confused it with royal flush for a second there.
we're on to the next research. Fantastic. Slush iron. Top three vents. Uh, I definitely love slush. And I didn't even know there was an iron geyser. That would be amazing. Uh, we got copper and gold last time. Gold is actually really easy to manage. It only needs one steam turbine to self-cool. Um, I mean, to self-cool the room, not self-cool the gold down to a temperature that you'd want to use to build things with it, necessarily. Um, but yeah, cool salt slush geyser was absolutely amazing uh, to help get through the early to mid game and have a lot more time to figure things out because we were able to what was it like negative 20 degrees or something uh it was below room temperature whatever it was the cool salt slush coming out of the geyser so without running a thermal aqua tuner or anything we were able to pump it around the base and cool things down um giving us way more time to figure things out And yeah, an iron geyser, an iron volcano would be absolutely amazing to get a much faster unlimited throughput of steel would be fantastic. I don't know what we're guaranteed on uh on this rock. I imagine we're guaranteed a couple of uh, so-called cool steam geysers. That is to say, cool enough that we can't get any electricity out of it, uh, but obviously hot enough that the water we get out of it is a problem. Are they not? Oh, this, this needs super hard digging as well. Uh, can we do that? Yes, or oh, hard digging is probably all it takes. All right, evil plug, get your digging hat on, literally. Uh, let's see. This is all strength. But this one leads to athletics as well. So I'll start with that. Or Harvey. And Morpheus. Uh, probably research for now. Put your research hat on. Fantastic. Uh, and that means we don't need this nonsense right here. Although, if we dig up that sandstone, uh, we won't have to bring sandstone up here to get the ladders built. I feel like I'm losing a lot of time to these cleaning errands, but I really do want to set up the priorities so that we don't end up with stuff just lying on the ground indefinitely this time. Missing research station. Oh, this does require advanced research already. Okay. What are we printing? Nutrient bars. We don't have an egg cracker, so even if this was more calories, I'd go for this for now. Uh, it's actually doubling our available calories. One of these dupes would have to be amazing uh, for me to risk. Decorating, building, doctoring. Cannot research, that's fine. 
Requires light to sleep. Definitely not. We, we definitely don't want this at the barracks stage of the game. Which is a real shame because supplying operating building... I guess I could build a cot directly next to the, uh, the printer. Supplying operating building. Hmm. Supplying with building is nice. Operating means you'll get good athletics without me even trying. Nyctophobic. I think I do. Wait, it says available. We've actually got 15k calories. So I don't know what this means. Alright, Otto. You are now Vivin. Uh, Otto. Fantastic. And schedule. Uh, I mean, priorities. Otto. I don't see Otto there yet. Oh, I mean, Boovin. There we go. That's why. Alright, so attacking. Digging. Nice phase, indeed. Uh, let's see. For Boovin, I want digging, operating, uh, operating and then digging, and then supplying. Building and supplying, and then storing, and then everything else. Oh, uh, cleaning should be the same prior as storing. That seems good. Fantastic. Alright, we should probably start looking at getting some farms. Uh, I was going to dig my way into these natural farms, I got distracted. Give me my special bed. Uh, good point. Let's remove the ration box. And... Yeah, there's just enough room on the left side for this to work. Does the ration box actually accomplish anything in terms of... Uh, wait, where do I make ration box? Huh? Ration box. Do we not have the technology to make a ration box? You actually do need research for that? Okay. Does it actually make any difference? Oh, I think... Uh, buried muckroot marked for harvest just gives us a one-off bit of food, right? Yeah, it's fine. If anything, I should probably be storing the food in the CO2, right? At least at this stage. The non-perishables prevents critters from chomping it. Oh, okay. That is a point. Oh, I forgot. The nature reserve doesn't accomplish anything unless we force the dupes to walk through it, right? 
So we need like it's actually only three tiles. Uh we need to leave some natural tiles somewhere and have pips plant things eventually if we want to have it set up that way. Uh, and I'd want to set it up so that so that they have to walk through it to go to the bathroom or to bed or something. I always make the nature reserve around the printing pod because they always walk there in extra free time. I don't know how I'm going to do that now, though. You can try to make a nature reserve in the ladder way. Isn't it limited to some number of tiles? 120 maximum. Yeah, that's... Oh, no, that was sand. Uh, Rip that water. Well, I should probably try making a bit of a reservoir for it. We've got approximately, say, 40 tiles of water here. Um, I'm going to dig into slime if I go there. Uh, maybe I should let it flow over this way. Maybe I should try blocking it in a hurry. I think we're going to be too slow for that. Well, we blocked off some of it. I could also put a tile here. That worked surprisingly well. Okay, so what if... We dig that out and leave the slime underwater. I don't think our storage is configured to take slime. Oh, yeah, I can't even see it yet because we haven't discovered it. Harvest, we've already done that. Fantastic. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a mob just out in the open like this. Uh, I found one behind a locked door last playthrough and I immediately shut it. Deprioritize that actually. I should probably uh, give them something else to do. Oh, there's no research? Because we finished this actually. Um, Alright, build a. I can't fit a big research station. Uh, as well as what we've already got covered by the free light. So I guess I'll just put it on the right side of this. I always forget the skill scrubber is a thing. On second thought... I was going to say I'll put it close to this uh, water tap, but they hardly ever have to refill it. It's fine. 
Oh, water's still dripping down there. We have enough beds, right? Yeah. Maybe another outhouse would be a good idea. Oh, there's a build in our way. I have to go through the slime. I think this time, the way I deal with slime biomes, I'd kind of like to get the dupes to just all come and dig it away all at once. Uh, and store the slime underwater. So that it doesn't uh, have a chance to leak out slime lung. Oh, there's chlorine here, so it's killing the germs all the time. It's only where there's polluted oxygen that the slime lung is able to get. They're really spending all their time on digging this, though. Um... Oh, there's our first... Whatchamacallit? Oh, let's find out what it is. Uh, let's see. Priority? Top priority. It is a salt water geyser. Uh, I think that is the bad version of the cool salt slush geyser. As in, it doesn't come out at a nice, cool temperature to make things easy for us. Uh, we'll sneak a peek up this way. Dig away every tile except for that one. We won't be able to do that just yet, but we'll get the dupe started on it. I think I'd like to explore over this way as well. Uh, research? I want five holes already. Okay. I think I'd like to have the water reservoir a bit further away this time. Because sometimes it gains a lot of heat. I'll definitely put it in an insulated room. Then again... Uh, I want, I want that to be where we store certain things, like slime. Anything that we want to keep underwater. So I don't want it to be too far away. Probably just almost directly under the printing pod again, to be honest. Well, they are digging pretty quickly. Alright, let's have a peek in this general direction. We found a cool steam vent. That... What is this... What is this job that's like... Colony lacks field research. Oh, okay. I thought it was a digging job because of the icon. All 
Alright, so we got a saltwater geyser up here. Hopefully it doesn't produce water that's too hot. Uh, can I actually... I don't think there's a way for me to click on it. We had to, we had to be sneaky to find out what kind of geyser it was. We're going to have to expose it a little bit. Is that obsidian? It is. Alright, cool. We found our next... Our next geyser. It is a copper volcano. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll be taking advantage of that as soon as we've got steam turbines so we can delete the heat. Uh, or at least drop the heat down to 125 degrees. Uh, and I also need to find a thermo nullifier. I haven't seen a single cold biome yet. Yeah, not even a hint of one. I've actually covered a decent chunk of the map visually. For a tip about gems, only one kind of gem can exist. Yeah, so if we use the uh, flowers... Oh, not just flowers, the... Uh, my favorite type of crop, actually. Although we need some more stuff before we take advantage of it. Um, let's see... Bristle Blossom, actually... Actually outputs floral scent. Very convenient. Uh, and there's... Uh, what's it called? There's some kind of decor plant that gives off that floral scent as well. Um, I definitely want floral scent in certain places. I think it's a deal breaker if a dupe can't tolerate it. Colony requires a food source, you don't say. Uh, research complete... Uh, except no it isn't. I'll just click over there so that research will continue if I forget. That is a hatch. Got a natural symbol read in a rather convenient spot. I just want to get this, uh, get this water out of the way without exposing us to slime lung. But the dupes are taking their sweet time with that. Maybe we should add some ladders? For them to hop across. Desalinator yields salt. Indeed it does. Can be turned into sable, uh, table salt to improve their meals. That is good. Uh, didn't we already have... Oh, it's super duper hard digging. Okay then. What are we printing? Hip egg. I could do that. I don't see any triple interest, so I think I'll just skip this. Yeah, triple interest, we're going to call that a prerequisite, because I want the morale. Slash skills. Oh, it's actually two pip eggs. Cool. So they're going to plant natural plants for us. Can we dig through this already? I don't think we can. Uh, let's see the skills. We've got... Uh, only Boovim. 
Let's give you machinery, because no one else has it yet. I actually don't have improved construction yet, either. Uh, what kind of hat for Boovim? Tinkering, carrying, and construction. I definitely want to give you the mechatronics engineering hat when we have it. Labs, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There was one with free super duper digger. Um, doesn't look like anyone has it. I don't think we took that one. And X-rated, thank you for the follow. Oh, our storage is already looking pretty full. The new dupes are rejected. Yeah, one of the new dupes I rejected. Oops. Copy settings. There we go. And I want all of these to be high priority to fix. Maybe I should dig out this whole slime biome. That seems pretty ambitious for this stage of the game, but like, if I dig out the whole slime biome, put slime stored underwater, And uh, and then we won't have slime lung to worry about down here. We'll have a layer of water above the polluted water, so it shouldn't off-gas polluted oxygen. We are going to get a bunch of polluted oxygen finding its way into the base. Oh, I don't even have the research to clean it yet. That feels so weird. Not being able to take that for granted. Uh, where's the filter? How have we not done any more research here? I think we're going to get our top researcher and make that a priority. Morpheus. Uh, priorities. Researching. Top priority. Yeah, it's definitely more important than digging, especially when there's other people who can dig. Okay. Oh, we've only got one researcher as well, so Morpheus would be doing all of that. Uh, but yeah, I think we don't have two people who are good at research, so that's how it is. Let's have a look down this way as well. I really want to find the ice biome, because I want to integrate the AETN uh, into our into our base as early as possible. I do recognize we've got a bunch of research to do before that makes sense though. Let's just double check I've got all of these plants set to be harvested. I could do a not so great airlock Actually, yeah, we don't have it yet. We don't. We have, we've only got pneumatic doors. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Doors. Let's see. Uh, liquids, gases. Manual airlock is here. There's the deodorizer. We would also unlock mechanized airlocks. 
Um, I was thinking of doing kind of a crappy airlock system, but I, I'm, I'm thinking as soon as I... It's a, oh, here it is. Improved ventilation airlock door. Uh, I could just go for the regular, for the modded airlock door. And we could start taking advantage of these natural plants that grow in certain gases. Sometimes you can scout ice biome with thermo view. Well, I mean, I, I think we've looked pretty thoroughly so far. There's That's vacuum over there. Yeah, it's not even... We haven't even seen the edge of it. It's actually pretty harsh. Why don't we do this ahead of time? Should make things easier. Poor Morpheus, running from one research station to the next. I should probably dig out further over here as well to increase the area that the CO2 can fall into. I want to explore over this way anyway. But uh, that should definitely be a low priority. Beep, 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 beep. I really miss having Drekos at the start of the game in the DLC. They're so incredibly useful. That does sound very useful. We've got some here. They're not in hydrogen, though. Do you ever find them in hydrogen in the wild? Oh, here we go. This Dreko right here. All right, then. I think I remember looking at possible... I was trying to find plants that Drekos could eat from uh, that will grow in hydrogen. No, it's actually, it's got to be glossy Dreko. So it's literally just mealwood and bristle blossom. So we have to have oxygen at the bottom of the room if we want to harvest them. If we want to shear off plastic, that is. In the DLC, you don't get them until the third or fourth planet you visit. Oh, oh, the opposite. I see. That's harsh. Uh, let's see. Bristle Blossom requires oxygen... As far as we're concerned. Uh, I think I did the math, though, on how much food it produces. Let's see. Six cycles, 1600 calories. Uh, 266 K calories per cycle. Where is mealwood? Was 600 over 3, 200. Oh, that's less. Yeah, maybe we should use bristle blossom to feed our glossy dracos. You have teleporters? That sounds nice. I noticed, uh, I don't know if it's the new version or if it's the seed I'm playing, 
Uh, but you can actually get teleporters before hard mode in Terraria now. Very nice. Very pleasantly surprised at that. Oh, we got our fire poles. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, it costs copper, though. We can make 258 at this stage. Uh, I feel like... We could easily go overboard with this. But... It's not that much. Not yet, anyway. Glossy Dracos need mealwood. Bristle Blossom will revert their eggs back to normal Dracos. Oh, really? Well, that simplifies it. Glossy Draco. Uh, it doesn't show it here, does it? It does? I don't think so. I think, uh... We have to find one of them and look at this really long list of digestion, right? Or something. Here it is, egg chances. This probably increases when the creature eats sed uh, sedimentary rock. Okay. But it didn't seem to be listed here. So let's have a look. Glossy Dreklet Egg eats mealwood. Well, I think we need to find a gl glossy Draco to look at. Wait, does the Glossy only eat mealwood? No, no, no. Probability increases when the creature eats mealwood. Okay. Fantastic. They built those fire poles fast. Okay, they're not quite done yet. Even so. I want to get at this free uh, thimble reed. Then again, I guess it doesn't matter how soon we get to it, it just keeps dropping reed fiber for us. So there'll be a few by the time we get there. Uh, have we found slime yet? We have. High priority, slime goes here. There's our slime getting moved. We can get a tidying, decorating cook, decorating, doctoring builder, doctoring with unempathetic. <laughs> oh no. Can't dig bad building. Not excited about any of these. I guess we can grab the hatchling eggs. Oh, are we researching the extra stuff that we don't need yet? Yeah. Let's go for... Uh, deodorizers. I want those in place before we open up the slime biome. Wild plants grow half as fast? Yeah, but they 
they don't require any inputs. It's actually just kind of like a cheat. One quarter is fast? That's just muckroot. Um, Lily's not hot enough, I think. 35 degrees. Uh, if we do... Wait, does Balm Lily give us food or something else? Medicinal properties. Okay. What about the pinch of pepper? That gives us food, right? Pinch of pepper nut. Sounds delicious. Four thousand grams? Uh, used useful in cooking. Okay. Fantastic. Does anyone have skills? They do. Kevin. Uh, I guess it's just learning crop tending. Have a fancier hat. So on hard mode, each dupe would need 40 mealwood plants. That's kind of rough. How many dupes are we on? Five. We're getting close to our limit until we reach several milestones. I don't particularly want to gain any more dupes until we have farming sorted out properly. I don't want to have. I don't want to be forced to rush with farming. Maybe I could get someone else on researching. Science 4, that's Morpheus. Science 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, uh, if, if we get to print a decent scientist, I will definitely consider it. That's our hard digging though, that's Morpheus. Uh, Harvey can do... More strength. I kind of do want Morpheus to do that super hard digging before the research, though. I wish I could prioritize the super hard stuff specifically. Sorry, it's not super hard. Oh, I forgot. This is super duper. Uh, what about this one? Also super duper. So there's really nothing to get excited about yet. Not until they get to the top tier of digging. Alright, in that case, um, cryo, researching top priority, we've also got Buvim is operating before digging, okay. Um, we've actually got Evil Pla is decent at digging, so I think we'll crank that up, I think that was an oversight. You 
You could skill scrub his research. If you get a new researcher and put it into digging. Uh, maybe. My digging skills are legendary. Fantastic. Uh, I think the next thing I want to research once we get uh, deodorizers, so we can start digging this out, is farming. And I'll just put a farm down here, even if we don't end up keeping it there. Just your basic mealwood farm. Something that we can easily tear up later. Four skills. We got super hard digging on Evil Pla already. Fantastic. Yeah, I gave him the hat. It was obviously an oversight. So I, we're actually just one skill away from being able to at least expose the uh, uh, what are they called again? Geysers. I have to dig out my tortoises next week. Put them in a safe and cold place over the winter. That's cute. Pet tortoises. I can't believe we still haven't seen a cold biome. Can we get down here without... I think we can. We'd need super duper hard digging though. We also have to go pretty deep into the carbon dioxide, and we don't have, uh, we don't even have oxygen masks yet. Oh, people are idle. Um, okay, dig this out then. And put a ladder over here. I guess... What I could do as well is make this pool bigger. And I could put a bottle emptier right about here. And we're just going to drop water in here from when we mop it up, and from... No, I said I was going to leave this water here so it'll make a layer on top of the polluted water. But maybe over here we could just bottle it to move it. That'd be a good idea. Attribute increase. Very nice. Uvim's excavation leveling up. Research complete. Let's go uh, for farming. And 
I'll just queue this up in case I neglect to change it. Like new Twitch ads commercial break in progress? Wait, what? They aren't a food store source? What's not a food source? The Wasa? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's go with water. And I'll enable auto bottling. I think I would have to disable this one first if I'm gonna do that. Uh Corny, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So do we have deodorizers now? We do. Fantastic. Let's dot those around. So that any polluted oxygen that finds its way up here will probably get cleaned up. Not to mention the bits of polluted oxygen we've already got. And let's get some wire. Actually, do it like this. Hey, Harvey. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No spare dupes? Uh, not right now, but we've already named you. You're our baller and eventually artist. Yeah, I had I had your request saved from earlier. Oh, I'll I'll give you I'll refund you those points. There you go. Alright. Uh blueprint. We got a poker shell spawn. Um what do they eat again? We don't have any ranching yet. They eat polluted dirt and rock pile. Yeah, I don't think we're taking that at this stage. That's awesome. I'm already there. You're welcome. Uh, supplying, researching, doctoring. Decreased construction. That's fine. We got a doctor researcher. Who can also carry a lot. I think we'll take her. That's Ada. So we've got exactly one slot of actually existing dupes uh, that are still on default names right now. And it's gone. <laughs> Sheep say meh uh, is now the name here. Alright, priorities. Let's go skills first. Um, I think I do want to start with research, so we'll put on your research hat, drop priorities, uh, doctoring, very important, researching, very important, storing, storing and supplying, in that order, I think, actually in Oops. Uh, in the opposite order. Doctoring, researching, supplying, storing, tidying. Uh, tidying before those two. And what else were your skills? Or interests? Supplying, researching, doctoring. Oh, that's right. Alright, cool. Now we have double research. Or we would have. Research complete. That is ration box, etc. Algae terrarium is shockingly bad. 
looking at this, uh, I, I had a, I had another look at this, uh, not that long ago, after learning more of the game, and it just looks even worse to me, um, after figuring out more of it. So instead of power and algae in, oxygen and heat out, we've got algae and water in, oxygen and polluted water out, and carbon dioxide, and heat. Wait, no, it doesn't actually produce heat. Um, and the polluted water, of course, especially if you're new to the game, you don't know what to do with it, or you don't even realize you need to do something. Uh, it'll just be in bottles in front of the algae terrarium, which is going to off-gas polluted oxygen. CO2 is consumed. Oh, hold on. Uh... No? Oh, yeah, consumes. Why is it under the exact same... Okay, that's terrible. That That is a terrible layout. Look at this. Produces, consumes. There's absolutely no difference unless you mouse over it. So it consumes a little tiny bit of CO2. Does that mean it needs to be in CO2? Even so, the polluted water is not worth the trouble. There's a lot of UI issues like that. Yeah, I I'm really not impressed with how incomplete the database is. Especially after so many years. They should add a little plus or minus next to each. Yeah, that's all it would take. Polluted water is just the sourced, the source of more oxygen. It's the source of polluted oxygen, which is a nuisance. Starvation. We haven't run out of calories just yet, but that's like three meals or something. Okay, let's hurry up with that farm. Uh, we haven't actually researched farm tile yet. That's a problem. Uh, I don't think we have an egg cracker either. That's also a problem. We can dig up this muck root. What else have we got? We've got a bunch of tiles like this that might have muck root in them. I think they can climb up here. sources of food we haven't tapped into just yet. I think so. Except for all of these random things that might hold muck root. So we just gotta do a lot of digging. There's muck root over here as well. Wait, 141k calories? That's it? Bruh. New start, indeed. Skewx, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'd like, I'd like to rush Electrolyzer and start and skip other oxygen generation. Yeah, I definitely want that soonish. Um, I really want to find the AETN so I can use that extra hydrogen to take advantage of that as well. Although temperature is... Not that big of a concern at this early stage, I suppose. Okay. 
Alright, that's finding a few seeds and foods. All saved algae can be used in a rocket. Algae in a rocket? Oh, look at the tiny little fish. Adorable. What do we got here? Compost. Uh, ration box, planter box. I guess I could use planter boxes if we're in a big hurry. Which, yeah, we kind of are. I sort of forgot planter boxes are a thing. Also, I want to keep track of certain... Why is it tracking a rock pile? Thimble reed seed, polluted water... Polluted water? Okay, this is auto-tracking the weirdest things. I think it's because they were new. I want to know how much coal we have. Fertilizer, phosphate... Uh, I don't care about the eggs. Dirt. It, it's nowhere near being a resource we could ever run out of yet. But I definitely want to see the trend. Sand is not an issue. Water is not an issue. Uh, copper. Algae. I want to know about polluted dirt. And... Uh, these are fine. Okay. We always check on those when we go to build things anyway. And seeds I'm not that worried about. Alright, that seems fine for now. Electrolyzers are power positive when running a hydrogen generator, indeed. As long as you take advantage of gravity to separate the gases. So you're not using a gas filter or anything like that. Alright, so our food's okay for a minute. We've got some planter boxes. Um... As long as we're doing such a lazy farming system, I think we'll just throw out some more of those. And we have 20 mealwood seeds. Fantastic. Uh, I guess I could pretty easily put some mushrooms down here, right? We've got how many mushrooms? Two for now. People are idle. Uh, okay then. Have some make work. And I want a couple of planter boxes here. Uh, these ones can all be lower priority. Oh, we have entombed our printing pod. Building menu, inspect. Wait, what? Attention all gravitas personnel, evacuation protocol in effect. Huh. I've never seen that here before. Can we hurry up and remove those? We need a kitchen. Let's hurry up with that. Oh, not a kitchen, a mess hall.
we stop with the polluted water as well? Uh, I guess I need a place to drop it off. Alright, food... Oh, I don't, I don't have the technology to make mess tables. Compost, algae, terrarium, stalag. Approaching one ton of polluted dirt. Polluted dirt doesn't off-gas dirt. Why? Why? We've got one outhouse for every two dupes and you're making a mess? Morpheus. Don't tell me he's stuck there. You can't jump down here. Fine. Cycle 17 and we're making messes. Now we really need a, a tap to drop off that polluted uh, water. Someone's got skill. It is Buvim. Electrical engineering. Let's go. Fancy a hat. Let's go. Um, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. That would be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have to keep this cot here for now, actually. So we can go one, two, three... More beds. Let's make the bedroom a bit... the barracks a bit nicer. There's always one falling sand... They're always one falling sand away from making a mess, indeed. Don't forget they added a kitchen room now. Uh, so they did. Kitchen. Spice grinder, grill, gas range, refrigerator. No mess table. I'll put that above the mess room, I think. But everything you see for now is probably temporary. Alright, so this is going to be fungal spore. Should meet all its conditions to grow here. Unless it needs to be 35 degrees. 5 to 35. It has to be below. Well, that should be okay for the moment. Uh, disable building. Enable auto bottle. Dig these out. And we can get that water moved out of the way. No one gonna mop this up. I'm pretty sure I've got cleaning as a pretty high priority uh, this time. Cleaning. Cleaning. Tidying. 
Uh, okay, Harvey, top priority. And, you know what? Everyone cleaning, top priority. I don't want to have to wait for it to get done. Because it'll, it'll only be jobs that I manually declare, right? For cleaning. They are not happy working here. Oh, it's CO2 here as well. Disinfecting is cleaning too, I suppose. Alright, are we just about ready to go on a digging spree down here? I want the whole slime biome just gone. And we'll throw in some ladders to make it happen. How far can they reach? Is this good enough? Possibly. And I think some of this is low priority. It is not. Can I cancel specifically buildings? I can't. Oh, right. The oxygen. Might take them a while, since they're doing this in a downward direction. Can we get some oxygen masks? I'll wait till they finish this research, I think. Still waiting on super duper hard digging. I really should cancel half of these ladders. Uh, what if I do it this way? That's a pain, but it's going to save a lot of time for the dupes. Digging again. Fantastic. time. How many jeeps are we up to? Six. Should probably slow it down a bit. Ranching, decorating, operating. That's not that good. Let's take Joya Seed. Any slime log? I don't believe so. I mean, oh. Oh. Oh no. Well, that happened faster than expected. Uh, 
we're just going to do it one and done. It's actually, it, it sort of looks like two slime biomes that were touching each other. We still haven't seen a single cold biome. Uh, I also wanted to have a huge area down here for liquids to drop down to if they try to fall into the base so that we could go up this way without much issue. The only thing to do now is collect it and clear it all, then clean the polluted oxygen. Yeah, it'll sort itself out for the most part. It's not that much slime lung. It's already... The, the germs are already dying. Also, what happened to all the slime lung germs that were here? We've still got slime in there. Right? Storing slime. Why is it not showing up on the germ overlay? This was, like... A hive of activity a minute ago. It actually dies in oxygen? Oh, that helps. Okay, research. What were we waiting to research? Uh, something down in this general direction. I do want airlock doors, but I don't know if that was the thing that I was thinking of. Maybe it is. Alright, airlock doors unless I think of something else. O2 masks. Thank you. That's actually under the same path. Wait, no it isn't. That's a dead end. Okay then. And we'll have to put a bit of an S-bend down here somewhere. Probably put it here where we've already got uh, the space built out a bit. Oh, we'll need a gas pump. Um, and we'll need a gas filter to make sure we don't... Does the gas filter cost power if it's, like, only the pure oxygen that goes through it? I imagine it does. Could do a liquid lock? I don't want to do that. It's goofy. Uh, Obletrax and it's Mr. Cuddles. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, Oplitrax. Oh, there's a bit of slime there that I missed. May as well dig that out as well. I was going to say that's a weird shape for the water, but I can see what's happening here. Still tiles in the way. Okay, so... Research is already... Third done. Brave slime digging? We're, look, we're ripping the band-aid right off. That's, that's what we're doing here. Get this whole slime biome out of the way. And then we'll have a huge void down here so that when we go up this way, uh, polluted water is just going to flow straight down. Which means we'll need to do mesh tiles here. Do we have mesh tiles? We don't have mesh tiles. Where do we get mesh tiles? Mesh. Here it is. Along with sink, lavatory, and shower. Okay then. Uh, 
Uh, I guess for the moment I can put regular tiles there instead. Just unlucky they removed the old German sickness. Lucky. Mechanics otherwise slime lung left uncured was lethal. Yeah, I heard that. It's a questionable choice. Alright, we've got... How many people do I want down here at once? Uh, as many as four, let's say. And oxygen mask dock. And then... Tiles. They can climb up the pole. Eh, let's just do a ladder. Won't make that much difference there. Okay. Uh, we need some mesh tiles. I would prefer to get those as quickly as possible so that we don't have to build this twice. But I don't think it's going to get researched so quickly. Well, it's 35 research. It's not that much. Oh, I think our researcher is probably prioritizing digging, though. Or one of them is. Um, let's see. Sheep say meh. Researching. Doctoring. That's not. Morpheus. Researching. Digging. No, we're still doing research first. Fantastic. Chemical burns? Ouch. Starvation. We've got 23k calories, I don't think. Oh, you're joking. Oh my. Could could you guys please build these ladders before evil plot dies? Um and evil pla concentrate on these digs and pop up there and don't die, please. Uh, can't take your eyes off them for two seconds. No way they're fast enough? Yeah, luckily we had a little air gap over here. This is part of the reason why I called it a day yesterday and uninstalled. <laughs> yeah, understandable. How did he even get down here without... He just dug his way down? I guess next time I do this, if it's in a downward direction, I need to prioritize the ladders. At least there's air to breathe, even if it is polluted. How's our reset? Is it done? It is not done. Not even close. Okay, fine. I'm going to put regular tiles here. Until we can... Get that finished. And we're going to need a crafting station. Uh, What is... Oh, here it is. Is it under stations? There it is. Crafting station. I might even need a bigger battery and or another manual generator. But drop the priority on those two. Polluted air is the source of clay? Really? How is it the source of clay? Polluted... Polluted oxygen. 
Oh, I didn't know the deo deodorizer made clay. Well, that's handy. Clay. Uh. And that's what we need for ceramic. Yeah. And that's pretty much the entire production chain for clay. Seems like. Uh, I might leave... Well, no, those are slime. I'll deprioritize digging these ones out. Because I want them to make room for the liquid so that the thimble reed can keep growing. Alright, we need one, two, three, four oxygen masks. Uh, sooner rather than later, please. And we need some gas pipes. Uh. I really should filter the gas. We don't have a filter, though. Mm. Will it... Will, will this take damage, or will the dupes take damage? Uh, if they suck up something other than oxygen. I think it's just the machines, right? Just a little bit of copper It's going to cost us. And we already know that we have a uh, infinite copper source for later. Got a copper volcano. Algae terrarium <laughs> reputation went up. Cosmeteer released on Steam. No, oh, I hadn't heard of that one. A metal volcano, indeed. Yeah, we've got, uh, I believe it's a salt volcano up here, copper volcano here, and steam vent so far. We already tamed a copper volcano last playthrough. Uh, it seems to need two steam turbines to keep up with it, to keep up with the heat. Um... We got a gold volcano going also, which I didn't realize at first. It, it was very surprising, but when you look at the stats, not surprising at all. Uh, the gold has a much lower thermal mass, so that was not difficult at all for one steam turbine to keep up with. Are we researching gas filters? We are not. Let's do it as soon as we get the mesh tile. Is it a cool steam vent? It is. I don't think I've ever seen a hot steam vent, actually. So I'm... I, I might just risk... If the research doesn't get done fast enough, I might just risk a little... Well... Actually... Let's snippy this. If I just put a deodorizer here... Uh... It should be impossible for polluted oxygen to find its way to this... Oh, and it got to the other side. You sneak. Let's put another one up here. Awaiting delivery... Current errand. Cool. So with the way I've prioritized things, I don't have to put these on max priority to make sure they get delivered. Alright. I don't think... CO2 could probably get in here. Whatever. I got my eye on you. Oh, it's actually going to take, I don't know how much 
for that to fill up. Oh, and we should have our mesh tiles now. Fantastic. Airflow tiles to the rescue? Uh, I suppose. Well, I actually just want to just put a filter here as soon as As soon as I can. Oh, did it pick up that CO2? It did. Damage. It's gonna cost like, oh, 15 copper. More than I thought. These take a lot of building. Fantastic. Do they need power? They do not need power. And I thought I copied the deliver suit setting here. Is that not a setting that we copy? Okay. Cool. Uh, and I would also lay deodorizer down here as well. Make a water reservoir with airflow tiles? A water reservoir with airflow tiles. What are we printing? A cumberbund? Unless one of these dupes is amazing. Uh, I don't think we need another doctor researcher. A suit wearer with decor Decreased athletics? Minus five? That's terrible. Bruh. Alright, we're, we're gonna take the fancy... Fancy suit. And I think we'll have Morpheus put it on. Since Morpheus is always hanging around here. So people are gonna see the decor. And cheer up. We're at 20k calories. I'm just gonna say food, because k calories is weird. Can we sweep this? Probably not. Uh, sweep, except for you. And add some storage over here. And we've stopped, it looks like we've stopped off-gassing polluted oxygen. We got much happier dupes down here now. that sound? Did Cthulhu just burp? Oh, here's one of those swirls of oxalite again. Any skills? No. How soon is someone going to get super duper hard? Can we see the XP? Oh yeah, we can. Uh, we need about 1,500 XP on Evil Pla. And then we can start... Uh, checking out those... Geysers. What should I research? Uh, bigger batteries? Sure. Oh wait, there was something I wanted... Oh, someone pointed out oxygen masks. It was right... Yeah, 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 here it is. Right next to the oxygen masks. Okay. Suppress current... There we go. Uh, I forgot to put a filter on this. 
Looks like it's been fine so far. We're finally backed up on oxygen here. Fantastic. Alright, could we get a gas filter right about here? Snippy snip here. And just spit out anything that. Oh, I forgot the way this works. Uh, okay. Um, in that case. I might have to change the shape of it. This will work. Also, that could have been connected. Like so. Whatever. Uh, oxygen goes here, and everything else goes here. And this is backward. Fantastic. And snippy this part. And gas vent goes here. And power goes here. And now it costs uh, most of the power that two manual generators can provide to run these two. Didn't you want air filters? Indeed. That snipping mod is nice. It really is. And considering you can basically do the same thing, but in reverse, with the vanilla game, I feel like it's an oversight, almost, uh, that they didn't include it. Although, it does let you perform certain pipe surgery that's, like, implausible, without the dupes doing something. Nice and not cheesy, indeed. Looks like we've got a comfortable but not extreme surplus of food. Skill time? It's not super duper hard digging time. We got about 200 or 300 out of the 1500 we needed in that time. Uh, field research? Fantastic. That, that actually looks worse. Let's keep this one. And we need to set a filter of oxygen. Fantastic. All right. That'll hopefully reduce the slot. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should get some chlorine in here. Uh, there's chlorine right over here, but... But nothing. Maybe I should just dig it out. I don't know how much that alone is going to help, and I'm curious to find out. It's still saying starvation, even though we've got 20,000 food. Oxygen's backing up, that's good. Means power can go to some other things. It's really just duplicate labor that's going into this, and it's a net positive considering how much worse they are at doing their jobs down here if they don't have it. Probably just need a few of these, actually. Uh, I guess I could blueprint. Great blueprint. 
some letters. Fantastic. Use blueprint. There we go. That's nice. Uh, and we'll definitely need some ability to jump across them. Take that out as well. Every bit of slime must go. Why does it keep saying starve it? You are able to path back up, right? Yeah. Uh, why? Why are you eating here? Harvey, please tell me you're able to get back. He is able to get back. Okay. They're too slow, yeah. Skills... Uh, improved farming too, why not? The fancy... I actually like the way that uh, orange matches the hair. That's, like, perfect, actually. Uh, what are we going for here? Carrying for now. And Morpheus. Field research. By the time they get to base, it's already nap time. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't put them on like a two cycle schedule. We're at the stage where we're waiting for things. The other reason I want to... Oh! There it is! <laughs> I, was... I must have been blind to it for a while. I was going to say the other reason I want to dig this out is to keep looking for the ice biome. Uh, we've found one, but I don't see any sign of an AETN. Can add more blue hours to existing schedule? More blue hours. Do you mean sleep? We've already got the default amount. I think we'll find an AETN down here. I'm guessing no at this rate. Forgot the word. Played with the new dream thingy. Made a new dupe where pajamas go into exosuit. Traveled probably 20 times over the entire... 20 tiles over the entire cycle. Was he sleepwalking? I think we've dug far more than enough that we can comfortably dig up here now, right? Uh, maybe I should deprioritize this. Digging. And construction. Well, I'll keep construction at a higher priority than digging. 
that's fine. Uh, and we'll just dig up here, normal priority. And start clearing this out. Actually, one tile at a time, at first. It'll be a pain if it's all underwater. I guess that's true, but it's, there's not that much water up here. Especially if we're not going for this yet. Anemic tubes are banned, indeed. Oh, what, are, what should we research? Uh, so we have the airlock doors. Fantastic. I kind of want to go for Atmo suits, but I'm sure there's a million things that I should get before Atmo suits. Um, we need refined iron for Atmo suits anyway, right? Uh, let's get ranching done. Not that I've decided where I'm going to put them yet. I guess we could, we could start with some hatches up here. We're going to dig out some chlorine, but it's fine. But now that we do have the modded airlocks... Uh, I'd like to take advantage of places like this. Oh, I need refined metal. I forgot. We're going to have to get down and get some lead. our first automation and Atmo sensor. Don't actually have automation wire yet. Printing time. What are we printing? Tidying, operating, decorating. That's okay. But I don't think we need that. Doctoring, operating, cooking, decreased machinery, that's bad. And only two traits as interests is bad. Let's just take the blossom seeds. There's that polluted water flowing down. I think it's actually going to cover the thimble reed at this rate. Oh, we are getting chlorine over here, which means the germs should be... Well, the germs are dying where the chlorine is anyway. Uh, it's going to create kind of a kind of a wall in the air that the germs aren't really going to get through, but that still leaves all of these germs up here. I don't know, hopefully it'll spread around a bit and do its job. Plus machinery with minus machinery. Game logic, indeed. I love those modded airlocks. Stick a hamster wheel on either side to keep it charged, and it's great for going into more dangerous biomes. I didn't even think of that. Just stick a hamster wheel next to it. Well, on second thought, it's not like they're going to use the hamster wheel when they need to use the door. They're just going to go way out of the way to use the hamster wheel, right? So we probably just want to power it remotely. I did not mean to click that. But yes, we have achievements. Evil Pla has super duper hard digging. Let's go. 
orange hat. And here it comes. Hey, he didn't spend time swapping his hat. Is that new? No, don't turn around when you almost... Uh, why are you like this? They'll use it to charge the door like a battery. They just... They'll just on when internal battery drops. Yeah, I, I know it's got charges, but... um, it, And it doesn't consume power when it's not actually being used. But if we're going to have them walk over to use the manual generator, uh, they'll do that sometimes when they don't need to use the door. Okay. Evil Pla. Get to it. Show me what we've got. Obsidian. Oh, he's looking for resources for the ladder. Fantastic. And we can finally click on our geyser. Uh, it comes out at 95 degrees? That is not what I was hoping for. I definitely prefer it at negative 20 or whatever it was. Um, the cool salt slush geyser. Well, I guess we're going to keep working our way through the extant water first. Black Hat is the super duper? Did I misread it? Super duper... Oh yeah, I did too. I should have remembered that. Vuvem has a skill... Uh, even more carrying capacity. Since we can't do mechatronics yet. Oh, it made a water lock. Interesting. Alright, let's just start making a mess of this whole place. Maybe I should get the chlorine in here. It's going to find its way down here though, right? Here I was re-rolling starter dupes until I got side suit wearing. Only took 15 minutes. I think it's there so that you can have a self-imposed challenge. If you want to not re-roll it. Uh, looks like we've got a brain chair here, I think. Why are you starving? We've got 30k food already. It just keeps climbing. This is a much smaller slime biome.
Trekker are just vibing. Consider dealing with dupes enough of a challenge already. Can't figure out how the AI works at all except that they prefer to kill themselves, indeed. I get that meeting their needs is kind of uh, half the purpose of the builds that we have to come up with, but like, uh, to me, to a large extent, it feels like a little bit like Factorio if the bots really sucked. Especially when you're trying to build a new project, and you just want to put this here and see if that works. Uh, but they have to take a nap every time they're about to do something. Haven't made it to rockets, got too frustrated. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot to figure out with this game. Often several things simultaneously. Oh, we got the mushrooms growing. We've probably got some seeds available here. That priority four hasn't been built yet. I queued it up a long time ago. Save my starter dupes to include a rancher, farmer, cook, and researcher. Specifically with sticker bomb. There's our first focus shells. Uh, we should probably get this out of the way now. And while we're at it, why don't we dig down here? Maybe I should get another digger and or builder. Research complete. Fantastic. Still researching though. Grooming station, shearing station, Ritter drop off, and so on. Wire bridge, jumbo battery. Does this leak less? Uh, two kilojoules per cycle, one kilojoule per cycle. It does not. It has four times the capacity though. Hello, hello, C Moogle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Not too bad. New base is going fairly smoothly. Although, I may have been a little over ambitious with this project to delete a. what turned out to be absolutely gargantuan slime biome. The smart battery barely leaks, indeed. We don't have any refined metal yet, though. I want to get down and get some lead so that we can cheese the refined metal that way at first. Printing time again. Uh, I don't see any triple interests. We'll take the food. Good luck with the new colony. Thank you. Hopefully we can make it the neat and tidy masterpiece that I have in mind. Or something even a quarter of the way to that. When I first started, I thought getting refined metal was difficult, and I realized I could just put it on its own batteries. 
Hamster wheels and just replace burnt out wires while making the first few. Uh, I just like grabbing iron, not iron, uh, lead because it's easy, there's a ludicrous amount of it, and you don't have to like destroy half of it to get refined metal started. It just takes a little while to get down there. Best thing about spaced out, spaced out DLC, always a small amount of lead in the starting biome. That's a nice concession. Do these things... I think I looked at this already, but do mobs give us anything useful? Uh, doesn't look like it. Thick slime, it excretes... I don't see any actual slime on the ground. Wait, do wild animals that don't need food drop any... drop anything? I think they do. I think that's why there's this phosphorite. A quadrillion bacteria in a single teaspoon of mob slime. Excrete bursts of polluted oxygen. Just polluted air? Yeah. Okay. What about up here? Oh, we're almost there. Oh, and what about this, uh, we haven't dug it out yet, actually. We can't actually analyze the volcano until we expose it, right? So unless I want to pour water over it. Um, I mean, there's really no reason to analyze it. the oxygen filter and you have free SPOM spum oh, what do we got nothing high stress starvation fake starvation again oh our food count continues to climb uh, we got some sick dupes though security door down here. Right in line with our ladder. Ball generator, wood burner. Are we still researching? Yes, yes we are. Insufficient oxygen generation. I was just thinking about that. Um, I think it, if we are underproducing oxygen, that is an if because I think these are at max. Yeah, they are at maximum pressure. Put three full outhouses there with three enclosed filters. So no polluted oxygen can escape. Enclosed filters. You mean like, just filters in the same room? Oh, let's fix this uh, hole here. 
Maybe I should hurry up with spacesuits. I mean, we'd have to destroy some iron to make some refined iron. Do we have iron? I mean, I'm sure it's around. But have we actually dug any out yet? We have not. Uh, metal, iron ore, there's some right there. Lots and lots of copper, of course. Uh, I think we'll go for this chunk over yonder. Preferably without letting some chlorine into the base. Uh, that might be possible. Yeah, it looks good. I don't really want to let the hydrogen in either until we're ready to deal with it properly. Fantastic. We got smart batteries, we got nothing being researched, we got no idea what to research next. Uh, how about something that doesn't need refined metal and is useful, like now-ish? Don't actually have insulated pipes yet. Uh, liquid reservoir might not be the worst. Oh, insulated tile. Definitely better to be able to build that sooner rather than later, I guess. Uh, but I'm sure there's... Yeah, look at this early game stuff we don't have. Actually, why don't I just queue up uh, Exosuit? Automation? Automation wire is quite cheap. We do already have an Atmo sensor, but that's about it. It's looking good. Oxygen, despite the message from before, looks pretty good to me. Uh... Dink donk? You need a mess hall. This is true. Food. I thought we researched this already. Is it under furniture or something? Mess table. And how about a water cooler? And some decor. Don't really have any decor at the moment. I guess if I make this a park, And then give the dupes some excuses to go through it. Uh, that would raise morale somewhat. How many tiles would that be? Currently it's 121. Flower pot of mirth is enough? Yeah, I want to hang it from the ceiling if I can. We've almost got the research.
Did I not copy these settings across? Oh, that's chlorine. Yeah, that's okay. I think. How's the germs? Not as bad, actually. I'm kind of appreciating the chlorine randomly dotted about through our base right now. Stress vomiting. Oh, no. Well, picked a good spot to do it. Oh. Oh, no. That's, that's kind of nasty. Uh, what are we printing? Digging, doctoring, ranching. I don't know about that one. Definitely don't know about that one. Uh, we can get, we've probably already got pinch of pepper seeds. So let's just take some oxygen. Free water? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, he's still going. How stressed is he? Oh. Kevin is the only one who's stressed and he's at a hundred percent. Kevin. Is it because I went straight for improved farming? I think so. We need to get you art fundament. No, that would just be neutral. Uh skill scrub? I've never, I've never bothered with one of these before, except for, like, the first time I played the game. Mess hall will fix it? Okay. One morale over? Is it really one morale is all it takes to get to 100% stress? We need eight more research to get hanging pots. Give them an extra tick of downtime. That's a good point. Schedule. Uh, was it Kevin? Kevin's the night owl, actually. Okay, let's just take Harvey off night owl and add some downtime here. also had hypothermia or not whatnot. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's already down to 60%. That was fast. Alright, we've got 10.3 uh, tons of iron. Fantastic. Uh, I don't really need that that's not what I meant to do. Clear new, put iron back. That's already quite a lot of iron. But it's not like it's refined iron. Alright, hanging pot. Let's go. Someone's got skills. It is sheep samer. I will pay more attention to morale this time. Uh, let's just go for the free ones. Bathroom is a stinky hole? Uh-oh. How did this happen? I really need a place to drop off polluted water. Uh, let's put it here. Kick hatches out of the bedroom after cleaning. It increases morale. Oh, okay. Uh... I should really make a room for ranching the hatches. 
already. Oh, this has the wrong number of... This floor's in the wrong place. Let's dig that up. I don't think we need the free food anymore. And we need a fitter drop off, a critter feeder, and that's about it for hatches, right? I think we have a grooming station though. There we go. Why are we kicking out the hatches? Because they're making a mess of the bedroom. Actually, let me spread those out a bit. Even if it's technically suboptimal, it's going to make it a lot easier to look at. And we want to dig out 64 tiles. Fantastic. And low priority decon, all of that. Let me hurry up with the improving the mess holder. They poop coal, any debris in bedroom makes it messy, yes. Alright, what plants do we have? Uh, buddy bud seed? Is this the one that makes the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, we've only got one regardless. The floral, uh, floral scent is what I meant to say. Alright, critter, hatch, hatchling. I don't think it's gonna bring in hatch eggs. Rear, rear. Oh, we do have two buddy bud seeds. Fantastic. I don't think we've got a storage for coal, actually, now that I think of it. Um, let's store it just next to the... Uh, the hatch room. Someone's left Harvey stranded. Harvey's fine, actually. Colony lacks critter ranching. Oh. Oh. Well, we'll have all this in place for when Colony does not lack critter ranching. Fantastic. Looks like we're still digging down here, albeit slowly. Actually, why don't I cancel all of this and have the dupes dig the path that's going to get the water out of the way the fastest. Can they climb up that? I don't think so. And the rest should be fine. Okay. Oh, natural gas. I wonder if there's a geyser there. Well, we're gonna find out. 
It can climb too high directly up. It can jump one up, one down when jumping over. Okay. So they wouldn't go back down there if I didn't put the ladder. Stress is down to 48%, and it is still just cavern. Research, building, and exploration all continue. How have we still not built these two pieces of ladder? I guess proximity matters. Okay. We are feeding hatches. Uh, what's that thing that makes them stone hatches? Sedimentary rock. And how much sedimentary rock do we have? 51 tons? I think we'll be okay. If we just focus on that. Uh, hatch. Sedimentary rock. Do we need to specify hatchling? Possibly. Make that a high priority. Make that one a high priority. And now we just need the branching skill. Which I ignored when I had the chance. Alright, this is polluted water. Do not enable auto bottle. Actually, speaking of which, didn't I... I enabled auto bottled here, disabled this thing, and I would have thought the dupes would have sucked up all of this water to bring it over here. Uh, but either it's too low of a priority, or I've configured it wrong somehow. Oh wow, they're digging this. Hey, natural gas geyser. They're digging this out faster than I expected. It's enough to make it a bit easier to work down here at least. That geyser is exactly in the way of clearing all this out though. If I pour water on it, it'll stop ejecting natural gas. Don't necessarily want to do that. Having like three dupes on one schedule, ideally to keep the base always working. Yeah, I've got two schedules, but I moved cavern, I think it was. No, uh. Yeah, cavern's the one on Night Owl, and cavern was the only one stressed out, so I just increased his downtime a little bit. Oh, he's actually totally fine now. So he's just, like, catching up, stress-wise. Alright, in that case, I think I'll put it back to the way it was. And Harvey can come back down here. And... I probably want to keep the two researchers together... I think this is fine. New hidden geyser as well? In this direction? We don't ever find geysers in the cold biome, do we? 
Oh, here it is. What have we got? Uh, see the neutroni. Oh, all. There we go. We have. It just says volcano. Does that mean it spits out magma? Is that what that is? Sleep block in schedule. Hot stuff, indeed. What do you mean, sleep block in shed? Oh, I, did I make that too short? Whoops. There we go. Good call. Nice for energy? Yeah, I imagine. Uh, I have no idea how to tame it. I guess... Can steam get too hot for steam engines to work? I imagine, yeah, it would have to, right? Because the thermal mass, the, 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 the water comes out of the steam engine at like 95 degrees. And the thermal mass goes to the steam turbine. So the steam turbine's going to get too hot unless we actively cool it. I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that steam turbines aren't the way to go to cool it down. You can control how much heat you transfer using metal doors that open and close in a vacuum. Hmm. As in the metal doors are touching each other? And the rest is vacuum? So it's basically uh, just like an electrical switch, but for transferring heat instead of uh, electrical energy. We researched something. Fantastic. Uh, I wonder what we should research next. Electrolysis? I really want to find the AETN first, if possible. Starting new base, indeed. Mazzle Fazzle, Sloder, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If the door is open, the vacuum between the surfaces... Then it is vacuum between the surfaces. Really? Oh, okay, so like... A, a trick I picked up was... I can't even tend to build this. Okay. So if we've... Uh, let's say we've built this already. And there's some gas in here. And we can just delete it by building a manual airlock like that, right? Uh, if the door is open... This now becomes vacuum. If we open this door, gas will get in here, but we could close it, and that'll delete the gas. Is, it, is this correct so far? Any dupe name slots left? Uh, well... No, but I haven't got the eight dupes that I want to stick with for a while. You can definitely queue one up. You got it right? Nice, nice. Okay, so... If we were going to do it just this way... Uh, I guess the room that the volcano is in would be a vacuum. No? Because then it wouldn't transfer heat. And we wouldn't... The room that this is in might be a steam room... And so we actually just never open this door. And we never open this door. And we just open and close this one to transfer heat or not. Is, is that right? Name a dupe. Okie dokie. Uh, 
Sheep say meh, we've done. See Moogle, we have not. Sloder is after that. Uh, if you put that airlock against a solid wall and open it, heat will not pass through. Close the door, heat passes through the door. Add some automation and you got a heat transfer. Yeah. Very, very handy. Interesting. So I guess that means instead of having a, uh, as long as I'm willing to delete a little bit of gas every time, instead of having a mini gas pump here to make this vacuum again, uh, I could just have a door that once the dupes, like this is for a different scenario, uh, once the dupes are finished, Pretend this is like a modded airlock on each side. Uh, once the dupes are finished going through here, this closes. Like, if, if the doors on either side are both... We can't actually read the state of the doors with automation wires, can we? There's also the infinite gas storage. Oh no. Oh no. I normally put a mechanized door against magma channel walls to siphon out the heat for a steam room. Very interesting. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to tame that at some point. Uh, it's gonna be a while though. Whoops. It is going to be a minute before we tame that one. You can only write signals to doors, yeah. I'm a little disappointed with some of the automation. Okay, I think... Uh, let me choose something to research first. But I think... We are way overdue for a break. It is getting difficult to think. I would like to have insulated tile uh, before I realize I need it. You would need some sturdy walls for that kind of gas storage, because overpressure can actually rupture rooms. I kind of, sort of, semi had that spoiled for me. I think um, Discount Engineer had sour gas all over his base uh, and it's not like he didn't have you know insulated tiles blocking where the gas should go but it got through somehow right overpressure can rupture re oh is it the walls themselves that can get damaged Either way, uh, I think we'll throw up some words on stream. I'll get some food and whatnot. And it's actually been most of the stream before I took a break today. Whoops. Works with gases too. Alright. Let's put that up. Uh, I should probably pause. We're not at the stage where we're going to leave, confidently leave the colony running indefinitely. Okay. Start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Nicely done on the words. Let's pause that. And see where we're up to. Looks like we've got way more mealwood seeds. Uh, I guess there's no harm in just spamming more planter boxes out here for now. We are slowly growing with our calories, but I would much rather oversupply them uh, and be ready when we want to accept a new tube. Paco will eat the seed later, indeed. Yeah, we actually had a... What was it, like, um... Probably like 180 bristle blossoms last time. Steadily producing seeds for us. Okay, let's have the dupes stay out of the water insofar as they can. Let me grab that blueprint that I made. What the? Something. Okay. Okay, what? It is very not responsive sometimes when it's moving around like this, but it still makes things easier overall. Uh, might want to dig this out. And over here as well. Actually, cancel that dig until until we've done this much. Lapis, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It is indeed a new base. Quite a few mods are clearly not optimized. I mean, if it gives us blueprints, uh, I'll take it, even if it's not perfect. What have we unlocked here? Drywall, Atmo suit. Oh, we've got Atmo suits already. That feels weird. Uh, although I know we need some refined metal to make them happen. Uh, we could also... We could unlock jetpacks already. The research in this game is weird. Why don't we smash through automation? until I realize there's something I should be focusing on first. You're doing insulation? Oh, did we not get it yet? Insulation, good point. Thank you. Seru, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And spaced out, the research makes a lot more sense. Okay. Oh, look at the little hatchling. Why is its legs so, so short? Now we're done researching that. Uh, don't really see anything urgent. On second thought, I kind of want the metal refinery finished. Wait, do we have... A f yeah, we can make ceramic. Uh, how about... 
Well, I'm not really prepared to try and plan out the uh, refining room just yet. Leg shaming? What? I wonder if we've got a few more mushrooms yet. We do. Still seeing some starvation notifications. I honestly can't believe how big this... It, it's, it's actually two biomes touching each other. This uh, double slime biome. Well, at least it'll be out of our way eventually. Oh, we got this open. Uh, I don't think I ever did an inspect on it, or I don't know if I'm able to. Alright, inspect. Been so tired lately, last three light. I think we've read all of this before. Let's just rummage. Rummage, rummage. Don't have a rancher boy yet. Do we have a skill for it? Hopefully we do. Beautiful. Good job, Kevin. And he's still plus one on morale, luckily, because I didn't look first. Uh, let's just... I think we can get away with this. All right, so ranching. Let's get our wrangle tool. Not the attack tool. And I think that's it. I should grab an egg cracker while I'm at it. Yeah, I know there's long commutes. Not much I can do about that just yet. Oh, we got uh, Sparkle Streaking. That's at least three hatch eggs lying around. Uh, and I want to eat all of them. Because we've already got... Oh, they haven't built this yet. Uh, fine, we'll let this chlorine in. Oh, that would probably help. That would probably help. Evil plot is on the way. Good job, Evil Plot. Low priority for that door. I really just want to see this count as a room. Uh, as a stable. Oh, I didn't ask them to... Okay, fine, whatever. And can we pry this as well? Build it. Don't get yourself stuck. And don't leave this one unfinished as at normal priority. What are you doing? Okay, finally we have a stable. Hey, 
And what? Okay. I'm not angry, just disappointed. Don't we need a grill for the eggs? Do we? Uh, that might be a point. Can they not eat the egg? Raw egg? Probably not. Uh, let's see. Food? Uh, refinement? No. Stations? Hold up. Have we not researched the grill? No, it's in the same research. Food? Oh, it's up here. Food was correct, indeed. They are not doing this build. The other thing they're not doing is moving this polluted water. Can we crank up the prior? Outside of stable. Okay. It's actually all just chlorine. I don't see any polluted oxygen. You'd be mixing germs with clean? Germs with clean? What do you mean by that? Oh, you mean by putting polluted water down here? Uh, I don't think I care about that. Oh, where did that chlorine go? It's down here now. Okay. Nope, there's not that many germs. I guess. Morpheus earned a skill point? Fantastic. Morpheus still has... Wow. Nine morale to spare? Uh... Astronomy it is. Put on your astronomy hat. Put on your astronomy hat. Oh, he's up here. Nope, that's sheep same air. And it's printing time. Arbor acorn? That's going to be tough to beat. Tidying, suit wearing, decorating. I think we're okay. New hat hike? Did I not print the acorn? There we go. Slam lung slowly dies in clean environments. Yeah. It takes a long time, though. Alright, we finally have our stable working. And... Wildness is... Dropping. Fantastic. What was I going to put up here? Nothing in particular, I don't think, actually. Let's just make another room. And dig through here as well, just so you can reach. I wish it would stop reporting fake starvation. Alright, let's make omelette forever. Fantastic. Pickled meal is slightly less bad than meal lice. Barbecue, of course. Haku fillet to cook seafood. Uh, fried mushroom. Bristleberry. And... I don't think we want to infinitely automate... Frost bun, do we? Because I, I think the sleet wheat grain is actually a seed. No?
Uh, I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't understand why the electric grill only uses 60 watts, but I'm not complaining. It is both? Okay. So we have to set up some kind of smart system to reserve seeds. Pickled meal is the same quality. It'll rot slower though. Okay, that's fine. And I'm thinking um, until, until we have an actual use for this room, I'm just going to make it a secondary stable. Uh, but we're going to have a lower priority drop-off and auto-wrangle auto surplus. So any hatches in here are destined for... meal greatness um, so I don't have to pick through them manually to decide which ones to choppy choppy which one prevents fake starvation clean the stable and bedrooms also you have no cook I think I do have a cook though I mean we've definitely got Uh, suppress current. There we go. Uh, we've definitely got someone with the cooking skill. It's just a question of priorities. Uh, K is what I'm looking for. It's easier to find than this icon. Uh, what should we research? Don't really care at the moment, to be honest. How about... I don't know. I wish I could just queue... I, I wish I could just tell it auto-research. Just pick something for me. I don't care to prioritize anything at this moment. So I'm just going to take the the option that queues up the most stuff. Duplicate skills. Boovim is very high morale. And... I think we'll keep going towards mechatronics engineering for the moment. Fantastic. We don't have a cook. We have cuisine zero, cuisine zero, 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 cuisine one. Grilling, yeah, it's Morpheus, but we haven't, uh, we haven't given him the skills yet. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I'm just going to copy settings to this, but lower the priority. And when we auto-wrangle surplus, uh, they should all be brought up here. Uh, and let's clean up all of this as well. Clean stable so that hatches don't eat crap, but only sedimentary rocks. Yes. Research complete. Fantastic. Skills again. Evil pla. Uh, probably... We don't actually have anyone with improved construction yet. Evil pla is getting close to his uh, morale limit, though. Gonna have to start pulling out the stops. I think I need some more storage as well. Is this one... 
No, these ones are set the same, I think. Alright, cool. What do we got here? Warm sweater, cool vest, cool vest. Insulation thickness. Decor minus 10 on all of them. It's nasty. Protects from heat, protects from cold. Oh, it decreases insulation. Okay. I think I'd rather just get uh, Atmo suits. Oh, there's our neural vacillator. Who's going to be our test subject? I mean, receiver of excellence. Missing out on three morale from the Great Hall, only got a mess hall. Fair enough. Great Hall is... Minimum 32. We're at how many? 42. Mess table... Decor item plus 20. Is that all? Does it have to be a single decor item? Uh... Room size 42. It is small enough, to, uh, big enough to be a great hall. So do we just give it more decor? have to have a plus 20 item. Oh, okay. I don't remember having to do that before. Let's see. Uh, can I not pick something from here? Let, let me just look up the plants we've got. Buddy bud. Does it actually give us decor? I don't think it does. So if we swap this one out, Or one of the decor plants. Eventually. There we go. Uh, I think Briar Seed or Joya Seed would do the job. Jumping Joya. Doesn't say anything about decor. Neither of them tell us about decor. That is irritating. Uh, that is actually really annoying. Okay, Briar, Bluff Briar, here we go. Decor plus 25. Fantastic. If you go into decor overlay, it'll show you. Also, has that been giving us floral scent? Fantastic. I should probably put the other one down here somewhere. As a matter of fact. Uh, how about we just... Make ourselves a wall pot right there. Thought Briar was only 15. Well, learn something new. Let's grab whatever this stuff is.
Oh wait, I forgot. This is a nature reserve. Room size, 95 tiles. Out of... 120. So I guess if I put a door over here, it's probably fine. Cavern is stuck? Cavern is... Not stuck. Is this hatch okay? What what's happening here? Excited, wild, happy. Doesn't look it. Being groomed. What the what what the Um Just a sick boy. It seems like Cavern being sick messed up the sequence somehow. This poor hatch it says it's being groomed, it's just stuck there. Well, hopefully that'll get sorted eventually. Our storage just filled up. Uh, where do I want to put some more? Up here, I guess. Copy settings. Oh, and let's get that Floral scent down here. Fantastic. Should have done that before. In fact, that would have completely prevented Slime Lung from making its way up here in the first place. Live and learn. Uh, are we researching? Yeah, we are. And pick up all of this, actually. Priority cleaning a little bit lower in this room. Fantastic. When you get an electrolyzer room up, you can put a buddy bud in the room to spread it everywhere? How does that work? Rebuild your grooming station? What do you mean? Oh, to try to fix this bug? That might not be the worst idea. Let's see. And return. I don't think it's fixed it. I think these uh, hatches might be stuck in this position until the day they die. What if I wrangle them? What? What the? Um. Okay. What? I'm so confused. I don't think we need to wrangle them now. I think that'll be fine, actually. Have you tried turn them off and on again, right? This one says being groomed again. Are they queuing? I don't know. Uh, we've already got 
five critters. I thought we had more. What are we printing? Researching, tidying, decorating? I don't think so. How about Joyous Seed? Just reconstruct it. Yeah, I did already. It didn't actually seem to change anything. But then the grooming did happen. I think it was just because Kevin wasn't sick or something. Can we not have a fake starvation alert every two seconds? That that would be nice. Okay. Why don't we dig further down? I think I'm just gonna try not to worry about the chlorine and hydrogen getting out. If you store food near the Great Hall, it might help with that fake alert. No, I think it's when they're away from the, uh, the main base that that happens. They have a path up here, right? Yeah. Natural gas generator would be nice, but I don't want to deal with setting up that room just yet. Hatch fixed itself? Fantastic. I just saw the animation when it pooped out coal. That was, uh, that was something. Oh, we've got two pips over here. I think we want to crack that hatchling egg and wrangle this one and this one. I don't actually want wild hatches eating random things. There is a hatch to the left of the stable. To the left of the stable. Oh, over here somewhere? Uh, Cadillac, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, wow. That's a lot of automation we've unlocked. Metal refinery, metal tile. Fantastic. Can't actually make a metal tile because we need refined metal. And now exploring continues. Old biome is kind of big. Yeah, it is. I just hope we can find the AETN. Oh, and there's some crude oil. So it's not as far down as we might have thought. Research is coming along quite quickly now. Did you ever find the source of that annoying sound last save? Uh, yes and no. We narrowed it down to something electrical. But 
Uh, I didn't go through the very lengthy process of isolating it. Harvey UK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I didn't say so. There's our wrangling. This thing kind of bugs me a little bit. I guess there's no reason to keep any of this now. Let's, uh, spend our base a little bit over here. Make room for whatever we might add later on. Just take that away. And poles up here. Actually, why don't we bring those? I kind of don't want to break that yet. There's no point. Alright, who's going to get vacillated? Any volunteers? Boobin? Okay, here we go. Assigned. Current errand. Is it finished already? Yep, it really doesn't take long. Something feels different. I dare you to get positive outlook. What could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Strength plus 10. Got muscles on their muscles. <laughs> Beef steak. Uh, what were Boovim's talents already? Let's see. Ca uh, supplying... Uh, so, supplying, engineering, construction. That's not bad. Not bad at all. How's this going? A little bit slowly. Soon we'll be getting some lead. Uh, and while we're at it... Oh, I did this wrong. There's supposed to be three tiles on either side. I think I'll move that, or just get rid of that deodorizer. Copy the default storage. Skill time. Sheep same. We've got six spare morale on you. I think we'll just go first step towards doctoring. We haven't made anything in raid fiber yet. No, we've got a little bit uh, over here. We've only got one actually. Oh no, that's the plant. Raid fiber. Have we been storing it? We've got three units. 
Wow. Still, three units for free isn't bad. Food has decayed. Uh, okay. I guess that was just a mushroom just sitting there. As long as we're comfortably gaining calories, it's fine. That should probably not be a tile. We are plowing through the research now. Oh, we finally... no. Oh, it's the polluted dirt that's off-gassing now. I think we did get rid of the polluted water that was lying around. Um, how about... we store polluted dirt down here. There it is. Sweep that up. I thought they were going to pick it up. They just made more instead. It's a very cozy Draco. Printing... Uh, ranching, operating supply... I should look at the negatives first. Uh, don't care about that as long as you're not hoping to be a researcher. Operating, digging, building. It's not bad, actually. Wrenching, operating, supplying is also decent. Plant murderer. Oh no. Rot, polluted dirt, polluted water, oxalate, and bleach stone all off gas. I don't mind if the oxalate off gases. Um, should I take one of these dupes? Maybe I'm overdoing it on the builders, but Meep operates as well. That should be fine. Alright, who's queued up? Uh, we've got Sea Moogle and then Sloda after that. Let's see. Moogle. Let me just double check the spelling. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. And I hope I've remembered, I did remember to apply priorities to the last one. Alright, see Moogle, drop everything, operating top priority, building, digging, and then tidying, supplying, storing, and I want everyone to be on top priority for toggling. And you also do a little bit of cooking. You can bump that up a little bit. Okay. Fantastic. They are unsurprisingly taking their sweet time building way down here. Building lacks resources. Uh, I guess that's water. Oh! Did I... Because I disabled this. Oh, they took all the water from here. Okay, cool. Fantastic. That works. Uh, and I'll disable auto bottle for this one. 
and mock this up, please. Actually, while you're at it... Take that away. Wow. You really go fast down the fireball. I guess, especially at fast speed. And then they climb up it very, very slowly. Oddly enough. Do we have copper still? 19 tons, we're fine. We are fine. don't have a place for this, what is it, sage egg? Alright. Get out of here, sage egg. Search continues. Uh, how much longer till they get down here? Let's prio these ladders over these poles. Sages are superior? Uh, not really. We get... Stone hatches are really good. Um, I forget why, like, they either give us a better ratio or they eat things that the other hatches don't, or I don't necessarily remember exactly. Let's see. Sedimentary rock, 140 becomes 70, as opposed to... Sedimentary rock, 140 becomes 70. I don't actually remember what's so great about stone hatches. Sages, though. Uh, dirt becomes coal. That's pretty good if we had unlimited dirt. Slime becomes coal. Algae becomes coal. We use this for oxygen until we have uh, electro uh, electrolysis sorted out. Fertilizer becomes coal, polluted dirt. That's about it. Organic things, basically. Uh, it certainly didn't line up with our priorities last time. about this dig down here. We're getting there, actually. Please show me a thermal nullifier. I guess not. Wow, there's even more ice biome over here as well, though. That is turning out to be a huge ice biome. Fingers crossed. There does have to be a 
thermo nullifier on the map, right? Maybe it's up here somewhere. We got buffer gates, filter gates, and ore gates. Way ahead of when we actually need to place them. We're short on fertilization, apparently. Fertilizer, 75 kilo. I've actually got a lot of food in my bottlenecking on fertilizer. I'm thinking... I should actually slow down on the farms. At least for now. Are we even making fertilizer? We don't have a fertilizer synthesizer, that's for sure. Um, where are we getting it from? I think we're just digging it out. Organic, slime, algae, I think it's a bluish color, right? Is it? It's not cultivables. Oh, there it is. It's the blue color under cultivable soil. It's almost the same color as iron. So, yeah, we're running out of that. Plenty of space to hide the nullify behind the ice tiles. How rude. It is certainly possible that that's what's happened. There's our crude oil. More than a little bit of it. Is there a way to, like... I can't just use priority to find the nullifier, can I? Like we did with the, uh, with checking which volcano this is. What type of volcano? If I find a prio that is encased in ice, I guess that could be it. Oh, we got our ladders down here. Submit bioscan. What's wrong with this plant? Body temperature. Oh. Uh, just the general heat from this area is getting in. Um, I guess I could try making the insulated tile over here, but I don't know how helpful that's going to be at this stage. If it's visible to you, you can see it without priority. Usually one tile missing that reveals it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I don't really have a way to cool this down now, though. So does that mean this keeps starting and stopping being a mess hole? Uh, being a... Uh, it looks like it's never going... It's never going back to being a grand hole. Um, I could just move it over here, I guess. Everything I'm building at this stage of the game is, uh, TBD. Attribute increase. Good job. Does the cactus have better temperature range? Um, it might do. That's a good point. It is called Jumpin' Joya. Temperature range 0 to 100. Yeah, that is, that is slightly better.
just a little bit. And I might want to move this plant as well. Uh, how about another hanging pot over here? We've got plenty of joyous seeds. Probably try and do something about this heat though. How about triple manual airlock? And then we'll delete that one. Or just keep it open. What's the problem now? I didn't catch it. Oh, is it minimum 30 degrees? No, it's 0 to 100. What was the problem here? Probably just... Oh, uh, here we go. Atmosphere. What's wrong with... Oh, there's hydrogen in here. Okay. In that case... Um, if I make this an airflow tile, it might take a while for the hydrogen to get out. If I make it here, it'll get stuck up here anyway. Let's just try that. So that should... I mean, heat will still travel through the tiles up here, but you're telling me that is going to be a vacuum. Oh, actually, only if we close these in the right order. Hmm. In that case, auto. What are we printing? Um, definitely the bristle berries. So I think what I'll do is wait till the... Uh, let's pick all this up. Wait till the dupes are done on this side. And then... Restrict access through this door and then... Open this door. No, I think we would have to rebuild it to... Uh, we can't actually do it this way, can we? Can they open the middle door without opening the side door? I don't know. Don't think so, maybe diagonally. I'll play around with it when the time comes. Research complete. I should just open all of these until they're done. What do we have down here? Uh, computer desk. Another neural vacillator. This door cannot be manually controlled. Uh, I guess we just have to give it... Is, is this the puzzle, quote-unquote? Give it a little automation wire? Uh, who should we neural vacillate this time?
pick me. All right. Sheep same assigned. Errands. Current errand. And here you are already, very eager. And complete. Deep diver's lungs. Air consumption rate, negative 50 grams per second. Nice. A sheep volunteers? Yes. Okay. Uh... So we're going to need some refined metal if we're going to get through this door the way the puzzle would have us do. Um, I just realized that the way we've set this up now, water from way up here would fall into the cold biome. I don't like that. So could we perhaps... Add a couple of tiles over here. Sacrificial lamb. Okay. What are we doing next? Oh, have we already cleaned this up? We have not. Cleaning all these polluted oxygen, big project. Um, I mean, we've got a bunch of deodorizers in... Huh. Let's put a few more down here. Wait, what? Uh, I said deodorizer. There we go. A few deodorizers through this bottleneck is really probably all we need. Mm, up here might not be the worst idea either. to have a think about it when it connected. Link them on mesh tiles instead, then they can suck from the tiles below as well. Uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Mesh tile goes here. Fantastic. Uh, I was going to put the floral scent here. Speaking of which... Oh. I don't think this buddy bud is able to... put floral scent out. Because only one type of germ can occupy a tile, it's kind of like, uh... It's a little bit like if we have water over a geyser. Hmm. We got those tiles built, fantastic. Let's go further down still. It'll get its way once the deodorizers are set. I think so. Wait, did the deodorizers remove germs? Do they actually? Someone might have mentioned that, but I think I forgot. Reducing disease spread. It's not very obvious about it. No, but air? 
Got air. I don't get it. Alright. Let's bring our pole up here. Uh, I don't really care when that gets done, though. They don't remove the germs, but most germs can't survive pure oxygen. Oh, okay. Did we get the hydrogen out of this room? It looks like... whoops. We did. Pretty much. Mostly. Not exactly. Okay. Never, never mind. Getting rid of all the polluted oxygen would be beneficial. Okay, cool. Slime lung travels in polluted air but dies off in clean air. Once the air is clean, the floral scent will dominate instead. Alright, cool. Uh, I think I'm going to just decon this stuff so we can have our holes down here as well. I'm surprised I haven't seen a single hatch. Oh. Wait, what? Max 5, auto wrangle. We have six critters. Was this egg just spawned? Incubation 14%. That's a no. So... It seems to me like... They should be auto-wrangling a hatch here. Am I wrong? Might want to switch the starting battery. It quite frequently stops supplying gas. Uh, it'll leak more though if I use a bigger one. Then again, the rate it gets consumed is a little fast. Hmm. So this is, in fact, a great hole. Fantastic. If the egg counts as a hatch entry yet. As in, the critter drop-off doesn't think. Storing five or five critters. Okay, cool. That's all right, then. That is fine, I guess. In fact, that's a lot safer for not accidentally getting rid of them. Can we hurry up and get this cleaned up? Because I really want to see if it's possible with the way we've set this up to... I mean, I think what I could do, if all else fails, is deconstruct this door and then deny access this side and then build this door again. Which will delete gas. No, I think I would need automation to open the door, right? While these two are shut. I think that's probably how that goes. And manual airlocks don't actually have any automation connections. Even though pneumatic doors do. What are we printing? Tidying, supplying, cooking. Decreased creativity. That's fine. That's probably fine. Let's get Lyra in. And Lyra is Sloda. As usual, we'll grab her when she's in mid-air. 
with a upset look on her face. Alright, this is now Sloda. Priorities. Supplying, storing, tidying. Uh, I think I ended up deciding to prioritize tidying, actually. Farming. Didn't we have cooking as well? Or is, is your cooking skill low, but you're interested in cooking? You're interested in cooking. All right. I'll start you off as chef. And crank up that cooking priority. I think I did these in the wrong order. No, wait. I see what I did there. All right. Seems good. Once again, I'm the janitor. You're a chef, though. Back to Reddit with you? Wait, what? Also, we have more skills. Vivim has lots of morale. And is our first mechatronics engineer. Fantastic. Harvey is... Ready to start learning art, I guess. I kind of like... Let's, let's give him the plumber hat. And then Sea Moogle. Uh, probably. What do I want to go first? We're not breaking any new ground with Sea Moogle. Probably operating. And we did give Sea Moogle priorities, right? Yeah, we just did. Fantastic. If you just change the priorities for C Moogle. Wait, what? Priorities, Sloda. But we did Sloda. This looks fine, actually. You wanted to set me to cooking. Oh. Uh, you've actually got the same skill for cooking, but Sea Moogle doesn't have the passion for cooking, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll just have a slightly higher priority for cooking for Sea Moogle. Sluda is the cook, indeed. Yogi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, I think it's keeping the heat in a little better anyway. It's not like this area is producing heat, it just has heat. So it won't be that severe. Still taking our sweet time digging. There's our first piece of lead. I might hope to find somewhere a bit more convenient to dig it out, though. Let's see how it looks down here. Even more skills, Morpheus, uh, lots of morale. Should we go for grilling on Morpheus or super hard digging? I don't know if it even matters, Morpheus is just going to keep researching at this point. Always learning interesting stuff when seeing new bases, many thanks, you're welcome. And thanks for hanging out. 
Uh, well, we've only got one super hard digger. So let's crank that up for Morpheus. Oh, they're going that way. How about we make this a little bit simpler? Finally got that much done. Insulated tile takes a bit of building. Uh, anyway, I think we're ready to dig up this way a bit more. Salt water's going to get into that big pool, but I don't particularly care. Did we get our floral scent up here? Uh-oh. That would be a no. Did I even remember to try? Oh right, we had floral scent here and now it's gone. There's also slime on the critter feeder. That's uh, not great. What's the temperature like here? 31 degrees. And... Oh, I think mirth leaf is the wrong plant. Buddy Bud wants 20 to 40 degrees. That's actually pretty good. Is it too late to put a Buddy Bud here? I don't think so. Alright, so Buddy Bud goes here. We've only got one. That's going to create floral scent, which is going to block the slime lung from getting down into the base. That's the hope, anyway. Fantastic. How quickly is it? Wow. Much more quickly than I thought. It's already spitting floral scent all over the place. Cool, that should block off the slime lung. As we creep up towards space. And down toward lead. What have we got here? Cavern, Critter Wrenching 2? What does that actually give us, I wonder? Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now. Cavern's got four points of, uh, of morale. So we'll just take the free one for the moment. up all the polluted dirt. Where are you going with that? Urgent relax. Uh, I didn't see what you were using the polluted dirt for though. Okay. How much coal do we have? 32.2 tons. Seems good. I haven't really been keeping track of it. Uh, that's our volcano. Oh, what's this? 
I thought I saw something. I think I imagined it. Looking for a geyser. We've got another room over here. How about we dig through this way? And see what we've got. Picking up the polluted dirt, where are you going with that? Clicks on you going to eat. <laughs> Indeed. Duplicate skills, evil pla. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can go for our first construction two. Fantastic. Gonna take a minute to dig through. Oh, it's actually just this little bit of abyssalite. That iron looks weird when we zoom in because of the shininess. Grab that while you're there. And the phosphate. No, uh, phosphate rather. Remember when I decided to dig out the entire slime biome? Uh, we got vertical wind tunnel. What on earth have we been researching? Vertical wind tunnel. How is that a prerequisite for a solid? I don't, I don't know. Here it is, vertical wind tunnel. It goes with transit tube. We've already got transit tubes, research-wise. I think that's the norm, though, being way ahead with research. So if we close this, there should now be no gas in there. What if we deconstruct this, and then do not allow access through this door? And have the dupes open or remove this door? Will we then get a vacuum in these two tiles, which will hold the heat in on this side much better? That's the experiment. Trapped? Oh my... Physically, how did you manage that? I... I am honestly stunned, Kevin. <laughs> Horizon so effect. Thank you very much for the 14 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And good to see you again. Welcome back. Can anyone guess how this happened? We, for we forbade the dupes going through this door, cut out this tile, 
and told them to open this door. So presumably, Kevin came along and climbed up here to stand on top of this door to open it. Let's try this again. Actually, let's have a look at... There's definitely gas in there. Spaghetti code? Um... So I want to close this door. And we're gonna- we're gonna watch this happen. Oh! Wait, <laughs> I guess that's how it happened? Okay, what the- You're not allowed to go through that door! Evil Pla! Okay, wait, I, I, both- both directions have to be forbidden. Okay, open this door. More doors the better? Lock the right door instead? Uh, as in, instead of forbidding it, just lock it outright? Before... Before we mess with this one? Let's find out. Sea Moogle is on the case. Sea Moogle is very slowly on the case. There we go. And now we're going to open this one. It would seem it prevents left, right, but not up, down, right? I'm going to guess that if there's any chance we could make this work, we have to deconstruct this ladder. Unreachable. Ah. Fascinating. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do it without uh, having an automatic door and automation wire on the one in the middle. Okay, that was interesting. What are we printing? <laughs> and you got yourself stuck. Good job. Uh, we got three triples. I mean, two triples. I might just take the Arva Acorn. Fascinating, indeed. Mouth breather, you're out. Kitchen menace is fine. Unless you're wanting to be a cook. Operating, suit wearing, doctoring. So. That's not bad. I think we've got enough doctoring though. Incre operating and increased machinery? Hmm. That's kind of good. Tree seed? It's our second tree seed, so it's not as exciting. We could be more picky. We've got eight dupes already. Uh, I should really stop until we get something really, really good. Sea Moogle. Uh, we've already got a mechatronics engineer. I'm just going to put you on everything that is basically free, morale-wise, first. Second tree seed, yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's space. Space is looking menacing, like these are two angry eyes or something. Can't actually see the top yet. Okay. How about down below? Not even close. That is a lot of crude oil that we're going to have to slosh through if we want to pick up lead. I would prefer to have Atmo suits before we do that, but we, we would have to go the path of 
refining metals where we waste some of it. Which, now that I know a bit more of what the late game looks like, is nowhere near as stressful. Um, refinement, rock crusher, and it's going to create a bunch of heat and turn iron into 50% refined iron and a little bit of sand, I think. Unless we dig just a bit deeper and find some easier to access lead, which might be the way to go. I don't think we can make Atmo suits out of lead though, can we? Uh, I could in fact just skip the Rock Crusher and produce a little bit of heat one time with the metal refinery before we're really ready. Uh, before we're before we have a proper refining area. Hmm. You can make Atmo suits from any refined metal? Is that so? I don't know if we're going to be able to see it from here. Definitely not. That is not a very helpful uh, database entry, I have to say. I can't believe we still haven't seen an extra... Because I want to confirm this works. Oh, they're glum because there's, own... there's a hatchling egg in here. So that means this particular style of automation doesn't even keep them happy. Helpful database as always, yeah. I mean... Later on, I could set up... Uh, auto sweepers to pick up eggs to bring them to a different room. Like I did with the uh, poker shells because the poker shells get very aggressive around their eggs. Eggs count as another hatch, yes. The eggs count as another hatch as far as the hatches being happy or not is concerned. Um, they're glum because they're overcrowded, but the egg doesn't count as far as the auto wrangle is concerned. So what I can do at this stage is probably just set a lower maximum, which isn't going to be precise and I'm not happy about it. Uh, but once we have auto sweepers, we could have them take the eggs away. For successful ranching, you need to remove eggs, yeah. I think we checked this last save, but I want to be sure I've set it up correctly. So if we have a critter drop-off with mostly the same settings, and it's lower priority, and this one auto-wrangles after X critters, uh, our wrangler, when... When he feels like it, should take these hatches up here. And we can always make this room inhospitable for hatches if we want to completely automate not having them get glum because they're overcrowded. You're going to you're going to groom the other ones while these two are just sitting there? After you tied them up and left them upside down? Okay. Everyone's got their own style, I guess. No, you're not... You're not going to move them, are you? 
Uh, what if I make this priority 9 and this priority 8? That's an anybody job, and you got that set to 1. Don't think anyone will get around to it. I'm pretty sure you need wrangling. To be able to move them around. Alright. Yep. Priority 9, priority 8 seems good. We finally got around to it. Alright, cool. Who's starving? Evil Pla? You're not actually starving, right? That is actually alarmingly close to starving, though. 830 calories, and you stopped again. Wait, you went too far with the oxygen mask, and now you have to keep stopping to breathe. But it's all pollute. It's all oxygen here. Why are you? What are you doing? Are you out of breath every time you touch a tile of CO2? What is this? Oh no. Um. What's his deal right now? Status. Yucky lungs, eye irritation, slime lung. Oh no. He moved the egg with the dispenser storage. Uh, I could have them automatically put eggs away, but we'd lose the... The hatches would stop reproducing, basically. Dig up your ladder, it's sand blocked? Oh. Tree. Good catch, thank you. Uh, and Paul goes here. Alright, I think... Well, everyone seems to be doing okay here. Where's Evil Pla? Uh, follow Cam. Seems to be doing a lot better now. Still pretty slow. That one tile with two or three liquids stacked on top, the absolute state of physics. <laughs> this one? It's... Salt... Oh, wow, it is three. It's salt water, polluted water, and then water. <laughs> That's brilliant. Behold the absolute state of physics. It's only 16.5 grams of water. We can't actually see it directly. Fantastic. Alright, I think we will... Look for someone to raid at that. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Space Exploration plus Crestorio 2. A liquid pillar, indeed. AMC, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, looks like another quiet day for Oni. Who should we raid? There's literally three choices. Uh, well, someone tagged it with chill. Usually that's what people come to my stream for. Let's just make sure we can chat in here. Followers only chat. I think we'll try the next person. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. Seems good. Robot Wars. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Take care, Harvey. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we're going to drop in on Eslin and see y'all next time. Wait, I need to copy paste. There we go. Take care, Siri, if I'm pronouncing that right. As usual, I'm catching the end. I'm sorry, robot. Alright, and away we go. Alright, hopefully that is coming over to here, which means that I can then turn off... Uh... Hold the phone. Oh my word. <laughs>